Cause she doesn't think that girls can sing rock and roll Sing rock and roll songs But I don't think they got Bikini Kill Records in small town Wisconsin Record shops But that's where they need them now more than ever so if there's girls still growing up in this world to believe they can't sing rock and roll, I don't want to live in this world anymore. All right now. No, I don't want to live in this world anymore. I'm here. Um, oh, let's see. Should listen to some Kathleen Hanna, but guarantee all her shit is copyrighted. Uh, no, well, maybe not. I don't know. I wonder who owns a hey, freckle. Um, let's see. It was Le Tigre was the last one, and oh god, um, Bikini Kill. Bikini Kill was the first one. Um, I wonder who owns Bikini Kill. <laughs> if anybody does. Hmm. Anyway. Um, oh, I am tired. My hands are a little fucky. My, you know, blah, blah, blah. YouTube it and check for claims. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Um, bikini kill. Let's see what we got here. This is 
Kathleen Hanna, by the way. When he says that girl needs uh, needs Kathleen Hanna, this is Kathleen Hanna. Listening to the whole thing now that, I'm, now that it started. Yeah, we're doing this. to one of the Beastie Boys. I think I forget which one. Adam Adam Horowitz. Yeah, Adam. She's married to Adam. Kathleen Hanna, there you go. Um, she um, she's pretty well known for her activism, actually. Um, yeah, she's married to um, Adam, the uh, Adam Horowitz of the Beastie Boys. She's been she's been a little bit of a hellraiser for a lot of years. Uh, well, we'll see, Jay. We'll see if any claims happen. Um, yeah, she she's uh, she's a little troublemaker. She. Um, Hardcore feminist, pro-choice, pro-LGBT. Um, she's like, she's explicitly talked shit about TERFs. Like, I know she's like, not just like accepting of, of trans people, but she like literally, she will go after. Um, also, she survived Lyme disease. Like, she suffered from Lyme disease for a bunch of years. Um, yeah. Either way, that's Kathleen Hanna. For those of you who don't know who she, didn't know who she was and that line in that song. I mean, that song is pretty much all about Kathleen Hanna. So. Yeah. Yeah, she's one of the only third wave feminists that, like, didn't, like, she, she is, she's a hardcore third wave feminist. Um, but she, yeah, she didn't bite the bullet on that. Oh, yeah, no, she definitely is, like, some, like, you know, there's no way you don't come up and end up, like, you know, a, a, a female punk singer and not have some, like, Joan Jett influence in your base. Like, Joan, you know, there's no way you don't get a little Joan in you. It's like, you know, everybody gets a little fucking ACDC. Everybody get a, gets a little of the Stones. Everybody gets a little of the Beatles. Everybody gets a little of fucking, you know, the blues guys from back in the day. Like, you know, there's no way she didn't end up with a little Joan Jett in her. Um, but, yeah. 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 There you go. Little, little, little uh, anarcho, anarcho feminist punk band. Um, what's her, her collective's called Riot Girl Collective, I think. Um, and they've been, they've been stirring the pot in New York for a lot of years. Um, so, yeah. 
You actually saw Joan Jet live. Rock on. Oh. God damn. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. I slept not entirely because I'm old. Because <laughs> I'm old, bitches. Uh. So, yeah. Yeah, I've just, I mean, it sounds like, it sounds kind of horrible. It sounds kind of horrible when you say it out loud, but I've just sort of like embraced the position. Um, you know who I never, I, I've never seen uh, Cassidy that I would love to see is Pat Benatar. She's not punk. She's just classic rock. But Pat Benatar is just a bad bitch and I love her. I love Pat Benatar. She fucking, dude, she's, she's been talking shit on behalf of women for a lot of years. I respect the sh I, sh I respect the fuck out of Pat Benatar. Yeah, Pat Benatar kicks fucking ass, and she's functional. She's not dysfunctional. She's functional. Like her, she married that the, her guitar player, um, who does like the solo and you know, uh, Love Is a Battlefield. She's been married to that dude for like forever now, like thirty years. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she, like, took her two daughters. I don't know if she has more kids now. But, yeah, she used to take her kids, like, on tour with her. Like, they grew up with her. And she's like, yeah, we schooled them on the road. They grew up on the road. Um, their kids turned out perfectly fine because Pat and her husband weren't out there partying. Nope, just two? All right, cool. They stopped at two. Um, replacement value. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, no, Pat Benatar is, like, super functional as, like, a human being. I've always respected the fuck out of that woman. Yeah, and, I mean, her music is badass. Oh. So, yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say, you know, it sounds super, like, kind of optim uh, opportunistic and fucked up. But Wither was right at the beginning of fucking chat. Um, anarchists really are just the I told you so of history. Like that's it's it's I think we should just slide into this position. Um, we're well oriented and suited for this argument that it's like, oh hey, by the way, you know, stop asking. Now we don't have to. Now we don't have to keep answering the question. Well, what would you do under anarchy without the police? Probably we'd be better off. When we learn of shit, it's pertinent. Yeah, like, now, you know, yeah, save my damn kids a lot, actually. <laughs> um, get a, Go into the fucking school. <laughs> like, I, it, yeah, we don't have to, like, now we're just done. I, I sincerely, as as anarchists, like, I, I think we're just done answering that question, right? It's like, what, what do they do exactly? Explain to me what they do. What, what, what good are they? They cost 40% of your budget, and all they do is tasered parents trying to save their children. Like, I'm actually surprised how this bunch of shit-ass cops is just making all this great propaganda for us. Document and kill? Yeah, right? Like, this is just, like, this is the end of the conversation for anarchists, I think, at this point. We're just like, yeah, whatever. Like, dude. Yeah, I'm glad to see people finally get on board with it who aren't radical and fucking. I, I sincerely believe we're like at that. We're at a fucking crossroads as anarchists. We're just like, look, we don't need to argue this point anymore. We really don't. Abolishment talk is picking up stream. Okay, I'm done checking Discord now. Just get back from kayaking. My sister is making shawarma balls. Rock on. I hope you enjoyed kayaking with your sister, Rev. That sounds nice. Um. Yeah, I, I, I sincerely believe that, like, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But um, give me a name. Stick with the 40% because the 40% overlaps with the 40% for domestic violence. Done. They did, Peaky. They did. Um, yeah, we're done. We're done. Um, also, did anybody say... Uh, say so when you see, um, this event has pushed a few of my moderate friends on Twitter for the left. And I'd be happy about it if it didn't take a bunch of children dying in order for it to happen. I mean, caboose. Yes. Yeah. It sucks, but they're not going to waste this opportunity either. 
So it's going to be political capital one way or the other. Um, honestly, when I first heard the 40% number, I thought someone was making the meme. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Viscous did post that meme. Um, late last night, 40, they call us, uh, they call us 40, 40% 40 of the city budget, 40% of our wives beaten and 40 minutes to enter the school, which we now know is even fucking, they took even longer. Um, uh, cat, I don't. I don't see it so much as like the 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 the, po the cops should actually be prepared to die for the public. I don't see it as much as that discourse. A uh, discourse. Discourse. I'm seeing more of the like. Well, they're not prepared to die for the public, so fuck them. Like, what are what good are they? Right. A lot of discussion around like you know people like um well they abandon their duty. Well, actually they don't have a duty to serve you, right? Like here's the discussion of like what what is it Warner versus DC or whatever. Marcus isn't here to check my legal citations. Um, but yeah, a lot of that sort of discussion that like, yeah, cops are fucking useless. <laughs> like, cops are straight up fucking useless. Um, so like, you know, we, the firefighters run into the burning building. That's the one I got you. Thank you. So it was Warner versus DZ. Then yeah. Um, yeah. Like, firefighters don't fucking cower, stand cowering outside the building, right? Fucking 9-11. People didn't cower outside the towers. They fucking ran into their death. What's up, bitch? Right? Like, it's time to... Yeah. <sighs> yeah, weird how that works. Also read that one on surviving kids explained. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. That um, they wanted to become a cop and now they want to become a surgeon so they can actually help people. Um, found in court cases: DeShaney versus Winnebago, Winnebago County Department of Social Services, eighty nine. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm more after the one that explicitly states they have a duty to the state, not to the public. And that they have no responsibility to protect and serve. And I think that's Warner VDC. But good to know some of the foundational cases, I suppose. <laughs> um, oh, there's, a bonus, there's been a few of them, Zippy. There's actually been a few cases. This, this, legitimately, there's been a few cases. Like, there's two separate cases at the Supreme Court level that dictate that the police have no responsibility for protect and serve and all that for the bullshit. Um, I've mentioned a few of the larger lefty streamers actually cover the fact cops don't have a duty to protect to sir, uh, protecting their stream, so slowly pushing that radicalization shit out there. Good, good boy, Chad. Good boy. Um, I feel I refuse to feel bad for the parent who was the written house supporter. So horrific example of karma, but fuck it. Fair enough. Um, no, yeah, it was a dad. It was a dad. I forget. I, forget. I saw the photo of him. Um, did y'all see where the police department is? Because this was, this was actually hilarious. They could have walked there in less time than it takes to actually, to, to, it took them to actually do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's right around the corner. It's right, it's down the street. <laughs> it's great, they're right there. They're right there. <laughs> Fucking, even if the cops are on your doorstep. 40 minutes, man. Actually, it was like 77. Yeah. Yep, Cassidy. Yeah, they chased him a half a mile. Yes. God punk. That's the distance between the police department and the school. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that is true. Jay, that is true. <laughs> just with her, just how? How? <laughs> um. Yeah, um, Che, yes, the, the Ilvade Police Department has uh, called in extra cops not to handle the crisis, but to handle the fact that they feel threatened. <laughs> that, the, that the kid, like the, uh, the parents may fucking murder them. <laughs> so they called in backup for themselves. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Uh, the shooter probably could have shot up the actual pre uh, police precinct and still been successful because it would have taken them too long. <laughs> Um, well, that's okay. So do you guys, do you, do you guys know who, about Herschel Walker? Like, does anybody is fucking, some of you youngins have no fucking idea who Herschel Walker is. Um, Herschel, <laughs> Herschel Walker is running for, um, uh, fucking state Senate in Georgia. He's uh he's a former um uh f f football football player. Hey Jam Doom, thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Um, we're just getting started. We're just dark humor, dark humor, right? Uh, I don't know if he won a Heisman. I have no idea. I think he might have won a Heisman, maybe. Um, yes, he definitely has CTE. He definitely has CTE. Um, so I, I'm going to put it on the screen, but I want to read you a quote by Herschel Walker. He's a, he's the Georgia senatorial candidate. Um, when asked by Fox News uh, how he'd fix school shootings. Uh, yeah, CTE is a motherfucker cat. We're about to see uh, how bad CTE is. Um, yes, Aspen, his son is fucking ridiculous, too. <clears throat> When Fox News asked Georgia GOP Senate, uh, senatorial can nominee Herschel Walker how he'd, fi he'd fix school shootings, try not to stroke out. People see that it's a person wielding that weapon, you know, Cain killed April. And that's the problem we have here. And I said what we need to do is look into how we can stop those things. You talk about doing a disinformation. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at women that's looking at their social media? What about doing that, looking into things like that, and we can stop that that way? Enjoy your date, Jam Tune. Good luck. Oh. Caboose, was that English? <laughs> what that was, was, uh, <laughs> what that was, was repeated blows to the brain f for a career. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Mondo. Um, have you, have you ever been so far as to do to look more, li uh, more like, uh, no, no, wither. Um, but he could be a senator in Georgia. Uh, he's not in office yet. He's a senatorial candidate for Georgia. He's gonna win, says Zippy. It was done since I was wrong about Herschel. He'll do great, relatively. Oh man, yeah, it's dude. <laughs> it's traumatic brain injuries, man. Traumatic brain injuries. Zippy watch, it's Georgia. I know, right? Uh, Mondo, we were just listening to some uh, Kathleen Hanna, I've, um, and uh, I usually use uh, Patrick, uh, Pat Schneeweiss, or Pat the Bunny, uh, who's a fellow Vermonter and a, also a fellow anarchist, um, as the lead-in. Um, sorry for the energy levels. <laughs> it's, I got no sleep today. I got no sleep. I'm just running on fumes at this point. Um... But, um, yeah, we were just listening to some fucking Kathleen Hanna, we, uh, and I always lead in with some pa uh, Pat the Bunny, um, but I, you know, I'm fucking old as shit, I've got a whole bunch of punk music in my fucking career at this point, I, I really, I kind of really default to, um, fucking, no, I don't, um, no, Mando. I mean, I probably have. I probably have heard it, but off the top of my head, it doesn't. It doesn't cue off anything. But as I said, it's a rough day. 
Um, God damn, blink the contacts back into place. What you got? Oh, Seeger. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, we use, uh, I use Seeger's, um, Solidarity for Raid Ends. Oh, what are my top three fave musical genres? I don't have the top three favorites. I've had probably two. I've got, uh, Electronica and Punk. Punk are in Electronica. Simple as that. At the end of the day, um, I came of age in the, in the rave and punk scene. So... It's, it's punk and electronica and electronica and punk. Various flavors. I can even get down with some pop punk, right? Depending on who it is. So like, you know, um, Blink-182, like, damn it. That sort of era. I can get down with that. Um, but, yeah, I'm more in the, like, anti-flag camp. Um, I also love some, like, SoCal, uh, West Coast fucking punk. Um, you know, uh, Pennywise, Bad Religion, that sort of territory. Um, definitely no effects. <laughs> uh, do you hear that, uh, oh, is it Vangelis or Vangelis? I don't know if I've ever even heard this dude's name said. He was, um, oh, the composer, right? Chariots of Fire or whatever the fuck? Yeah, he's the music, the, the, the movie music guy. Um, against me, yeah, that's fine. Misfits are fine. Um, yeah. There's a whole bunch of fucking... It's just like, look, it's been a minute. Oh, okay. So, Herschel, you can go away. Jesus fucking Christ, Herschel. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see. Oh. Oh, uh, Mando Trump's speech. I saw some of the fucking headlines. Um, somebody was posting them on Discord. Hang on. Fucking, I think we were going in memes, but, um, feels like it was good memes. Uh, it was, um, the classroom door should have been hardened to make them lockable from the inside. Uh, Trump apparently tried to read out the list of children's names and since they're largely Hispanic names, he was unable to pronounce them. Um, oh, hey, there's Christian Walker, Herschel's kid, fucking talking about black fathers running off to smoke weed and bang a bunch of women. Uh, fucking A. Bulletproof face mask. Um, yes, nonsense. I'm glazy. He did at least try. Kid. Yeah. Yeah, Christian uh, Christian Walker is Herschel's kid. <laughs> ah, damn it. Brother. Requires. <laughs> uh. I've actually read this book. Or but this article. Wait, no, no, no. I've read this book. It's a book. Um, I actually have this. I think this is in my main um, library. Yeah, I'll get on that. Uh, I'll get on that with her. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, I, as far as anarchist theory goes, Mondo, like, my collection is wide and expansive. I started on the streets, in my, well, I mean, all, decades ago now, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck, I'm old. Um, yeah, I've spent the better part of a decade reading theory. <clears throat> uh, I wish I were stoned right now, Mondo. Right now, I'm just tired. You want to see how weird this is going to get? I am going to get stoned at a certain point. Um, Cat and Caboose, you're here. Do we just wanna? Do we just wanna? Um. Yes, we just wanna. Okay. Fucking. 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, Mondo, <laughs> I, Caboose, do what you got to do. Uh, Karina, if you're here and you want to play, feel free. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> I'm so fucking tired, dude. I didn't, I didn't sleep until like afternoon. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's why I look stoned. I'm just basically stoned. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, just, my body's like, dude, I didn't even get to sleep any of the weed off. Uh, Fuck, dude, that's 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 rough. I got a fat bull loaded too. We're gonna fucking swing for the fences. <laughs> What's up, nonsense? Uh, but um, yeah, Mondo. Um, fucking, I got a shelf. Uh, a shelf. I've got shelves full of theory. Um, uh, but I'd recommend like uh, Mondo. If you want recommendations, there's a reading list attached. Uh, fucking Cassidy said, I "Feel you, Kai." Same here. Um, there's a, there's an exclamation reading list command on chat. If you've got, if you need some ideas, uh, you were up all night painting. See, Cassidy was just up all night huffing paint y'all. Yeah. That's, that's how I took that as well. Yeah. That's, that's what I heard. <sighs> Only a matter of time before she starts talking like Herschel Walker. <laughs> dude, dude, that quote is insane. I, I mean, it's, it's just like, you don't even... People see that it's a person wielding that weapon. You know, Cain killed Abel, and that's the problem we have here. And I said what we need to do is look into how we can stop those things. You talk about doing a disinformation. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at women that's looking at their social media? What about doing that, looking at things like that, and can and we can stop it that way? And I kind of got that. I mean... I, mean, I get where he was... I, I, I don't know... <laughs> He's still kind of there. Yeah, I, somewhat. I, th I think it's. Uh, I think it might be reading. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's re exclamation reading. Um, it's been a decade. About a decade since I was on paint. Said Shay. Good on you, Shay. <laughs> Beast said he's sure somewhere. I mean, yeah, he's somewhere. <laughs> it's just you know. That's a Trump level train of thought. It is. It that is. really is. Fucking. Dude, was he was he nineties or eighties? He was nineties football, right? Know. I mean, I'll just Google it. Hold on, I I can, yeah. Let's see. Oh, 80, 85. 82 Heisman Trophy. So yeah, he was eighties. He played eighty to eighty two for Georgia, and then uh, round five pick in eighty five for the NFL draft. So, <laughs> we're talking, we're talking a lot of hits, folks, a lot of hits, and we're talking a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. He's, um, he's not doing well. Let's just put it that way. He's not doing well. You can't be less than 30. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Much love. He's, Glacey said he's 31. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Try 41. <laughs> Those are where I am. Uh, played in the USFL, then the NFL after college, then went into MMA, I think, says Scott Punk. Jesus fucking Christ, he's screwed. Yeah, no, that, dude, that dude's, uh, his brain's been just, never really had a chance to rest. Um, You know what, I almost feel like leaving us in fucking uh, politics. Fuck you, yeah. we'll see what happens. Um, gonna do one of them gaming debate streams. Gaming debate streams, caboose. I'm gonna fucking, yeah. We're gonna fucking. De gonna, de gonna do a, a, a Vosh and like mm. dunk on some chud while we. No, play, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Or uh, no, I'm gonna do a Destiny and play a, a play a video game while I meander with my point. Um, Withers said, "Debate me." Um, all right, Wither. No, at the very least, you have sleep depravity to as an excuse. Um, uh, wither. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do you put your toilet paper inside or outside on the list? Virginia? Virginia is the worst state. <laughs> All right. Let me get some invites out here. Hold on. Invite. Uh, where's the other one? There's the other one. Based. Um, all right. And switching. All right. Let me get some water while the game loads up, so I'll be right back. All right. 
Uh, bullshit, Ohio is worse, says Mondo. Oh, Viscous, where are you? <laughs> um, to be fair, to be fair, oh. he'd, he'd pretty much win with his... Because you know he would fucking gun for Florida immediately after well, hearing Well, I, I mean, this is what I'm thinking. It, well, the only thing I was thinking was, God, I wish he, uh, I wish Glazy was here for Viscous's rant. God, that was, <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Yeah, dude, he went <laughs> off on Florida. <laughs> dude, Glazy, you would have, like, I, I desperately want to fucking hear how that would have gone down. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I, just... I lost it when he started ranting about bourgeois degeneracy. How can you say that when Texas exists? Bring him back, dude. Glazy, he's fucking busy, like, probably yelling at a passing yacht right now. <laughs> yeah. He really does not like yachts in um, fucking Florida. What? Really Vir fucking Virginia doesn't. worse than Florida? You throwing Virginia under the bus? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, Virginia gets thrown under the bus because of uh, Thomas Jefferson. There. Fucking uh, legacy racism. I um, share the quest with me. Uh, well, and the invites. I was gonna say yeah. I sent the thingy. Um, there we go. Peace. All right, I'm back. Okay, so this Ohio is, the, is the, Ohio is the leading export of Joe Rogan tech dudes. Says Rev. Um, Zippy said, "How can you say that when Texas exists?" That is fair. That is fair. Here, I live in Ohio. And what they're doing is try and detransition every trans kid. Give me the hell out of this hellhole, please. Um, Mondo, uh, come to Nevada. Um, even our Medicaid program supports trans people. We support like uh, gender affirming therapies here, uh, surgery and hormone treatments, even at the Medicaid level. Um, the state has a lot of problems otherwise, but if you need like a stopgap before you go to some place that has water, um, stop on by Nevada. We're we're not fucking we're not stupid like the rest of the country. Um. <clears throat> West Virginia, Virginia has the Appalachians and the IWW. Well, Blair Mountain, I mean. Um, you see right back there, that poster's for Blair Mountain, uh, Mondo. Um, and that one's the White Rose Society. So uh, Sophie is my one of my heroes. Um, yes, Glazy, Nevada does have brothels. Yep. We, ha we have brothels, too. We have drinking in the streets. We have recreational weed. We have... <laughs> Gay marriage. We have drive-through gay marriage. We have online divorce. We have constitutional recognition of same-sex marriage. Um, we got Thomas Paine's friends as legacy as well, though. <laughs> yeah. um, we literally watched Texas cops cuff people instead of letting them say that. Not cuffs. See, the cuffs fucking were one thing. What what got me was the fucking uh, tasing of the parents. That one was I was like, Jesus. Christ. Right, it's like that's not gonna go down well, right? This counts as nighttime, right? Yeah, it's twenty two. Yeah, right. Um, all right, let's fucking do this shit. Uh, round back like we planned. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one parent claimed that he got ma uh, that someone got maced too. Jesus Christ. I can see that. Dude, these guys are just doing... The, the, the cops, I, I, I... Look, it's horrible. It sounds horribly opportunistic. But, like, these cops have done more for anarchist propaganda, like, anti-police propaganda, than anything we've done in the last 40 years. Sincerely. Like, good job, guys. <laughs> I mean, man, I don't need to convince anybody of anything anymore. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, let's see. Oh, right here, no? Yeah, yeah, I was just like looking for Caboose to fucking send that thing before shit got weird. Yeah, those blocks. I'm still joining. Okay, so it was this, and then this. Oh, there's two generators. Mm, yeah, I see that. I'm gonna get to this one, it's flashing red. Okay, I think there's a body over there. Alright, what do we got? Oh, fuck me. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, it looks like we're doing this. Yep. I already set them up up to they already they're already set off up top.
Oh, I got a cop on me. What's up, Harris? What the fuck? Everybody, yeah, yeah I grew up. Now. I grew up playing Quake. <laughs> yes, I've played Quake. Um, hey, cat. When you're joining, did you get a, a null pointer exception? Nope. I did, but I joined up just fine anyway. I did. Dude, something's wrong with your game. Your shit's yeah, fucking up. What the fuck? So it has a failure rate. What does? The 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 the, the generator. It's not guaranteed to start every time you press it. Gotcha. Well, I guess that's why we should clear. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. The top of the building is absolutely infested, and I fell off. Okay. Oh! Did you plant a shit ton of trees? Uh, yes. Alright, so I just broke my leg. Luckily, I found a plaster cast. Um. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, rocket launcher, bunny hop. Yes, yes. I will keep seeing shit about doors. Uh, I keep seeing shit about doors and Ted Cruz. I don't even want to know. I just want to. Uh, I just want nothing to be. Uh, I just know nothing will be done about it, math shootings wise. Yep. Pound coin. Um. Uh, uh, it has. Oh. Um. I don't know by default pound coin, but I mean, yeah. Like, there's a, an Apache gunship mod for this game, even. I, I, well, I fell off a roof, so, you know, not dead, just in severe pain. Okay. And now I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm like one hit away from death. Let me just use some of these bandages. Yeah, Ted, Ted Cruz described to fire marshals. Yeah, because that, uh, nightmare, that was like one of Trump's idea, too, fuck, right? Like, fucking make it harder to fucking get in the doors. Her up, bitch. Stay down. Your tour of duty is over, soldier. Alright. Fucking. Yeah, no, I, I am absolutely stunned by how good of a, a propagandization job that the fucking cops are doing for us at this point. It's absolutely psychotic. I'm just like, just keep, I guess keep up the good work, guys. Because, I mean, <clears throat> dude. Jesus Christ. But you're still up there. Cop, cop press conference was trying to blame the teachers. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, that's an incredibly stupid thing to do. Um, dude, they just keep fucking up. Mace to the uh, face is good propaganda. Um... I know the f uh, a few of the rejects have said schools should only have one entrance. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. That's, yeah. That's, 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 that won't go horribly awry very quickly. Uh, currently, I'm playing Splatoon. Honestly, I'm seeing people list the amount of money. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, the NRA um, contributions list is quite a um, <clears throat> thing. Um, <laughs> thank you, cops, for winning the war against cops. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy. Um, Kroon said, okay, fuck. I feel like I'm going to be uh, tired and sore all week. My family got shared custody from my little sister, and I'll just leave it at uh, got uh, I'll just leave it at got home from the airport and didn't sleep until maybe an hour ago. Oof. Good luck, Crimson. And give me a name, Sid. As a, like, as a non-American, I have no experience with school shootings whatsoever. Oh, innocent. Sweet summer child. Uh, but wouldn't have a single, uh, wouldn't ha uh, having a single point of access be absolutely batshit idea? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's just like, that's going to be shooting fish in a barrel. If it wasn't already. Uh, you'd be said, you know what will make this better? A bottleneck. Yeah. Um... Nonsense! Did you see the Onion articles? America's police flee the country as gunmen said to be inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I just, saw on Twitter I'm earlier just... today that was like, uh, "What do you, you know, when you get rid of the police, what are you gonna do when there's no cops to come by, or when you get robbed and there's no cops to stop by seven hours later and shrug their shoulders?" All right, it's just you know, jeez. 
Un un ungrateful. Ungrateful Americans. That's just, yeah. you know, they don't appreciate the danger that they put themselves in every day on the way to that donut shop down the street. I almost fell down a cat's mine shaft. Good. <laughs> Jeez, cat, you dug deep. I, yeah, I dug all the way to bedrock. Sounds like uh. Oh, so tight and deep. Oh, we're done. There's more out back, but we're <laughs> we're actually properly done. What's out? Uh, oh, okay. Still operating on a broken leg here. Do we know? Ah, I just fuck. want these guys I, to come I, I this way. I just instead. fell in the hole now. <laughs> now I have a broken leg. Great. Broken legs are contagious, everyone. God damn it. I hate those crawlers. Unless you're oh, unless you're I'm a infected. parkour artist somehow. Yep, I'm infected. It's this whore right here. <laughs> Good enough. I can't catch a contagious disease. I'm straight. Yeah. Do I have anything? I'm gonna start biking back. Um ooh. Speaking of bikes, is it is it possible to change the color of your bike, or are you stuck with whatever color you got? Uh, the, oh, you can paint it. No, no, not that was a mod. Mm. Oh yeah. shit! Um, I guess I just have to deal with a pink bike. Base. Yeah, that was that was a hundred percent a mod. Oh fucking waste XP. I'll just live with the infection until I can't live with the infection. Let's see. Do I have... Yeah, I should have taken a vitamin at least. It would have minimized the rate. Um, what the fuck was that? You know what? Fuck it. I have a severe infection and a broken leg. I'm just going to eat some glass. <laughs> time to eat some glass. Uh, old people Dude, try that not to catch... that is such a fucking brutal way to go out. <laughs> Oh, uh, fucking old people trying not to, uh, old people trying not to catch the gay by refusing to watch their, uh, wash their ass. And pound coin said, wash my ass. What are you gay or something? Um, fuck. Are there actually people out there that oh, don't yes. wash their ass? Cause gay? Yes. yeah. Have you never heard this? Yeah. This is a real thing. Oh no. yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a totally a real thing amongst straight dudes. <laughs> no, caboose. The straights are not okay. I mean, I am a straight guy, and I am not okay, so I agree with that, but Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Dude, it's a real thing. Uh, let's see. 26 years since the UK's last school shooting, uh, and Dunblane has once again been calling on the US government to not subject more families to these tragedies. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think that's not for me. Uh, Aspen said, hashtag eat the glass. That was a just very died. slow process. Jesus. Uh, yeah, once you have a bunch of HP, you kind of have to, like, I had to eat, like, three or four handfuls of glass. <laughs> I ate four. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough. It's fucking rough. But. Yeah, there ain't really no pretty way to eat a bunch of glass for suicide. You know, that's a. Well, my uh, XP deficit wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's only half. I should actually be like... Just killing some of these fuckers. Yeah. Well, you do that, because, like I said, a broken leg just trying to get home and not die. Oh, shit, there's like a clutch of fucking Steffies here. Alright, let me help you no, out. No, no, you're fine. Uh, by the way, Cat, uh, where did you put the uh, the bolt action rifle away, or do you still have it on you? Hunting rifle, and no, Hunting not rifle. yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm 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 about like 500 meters away from the trader, so 600 something from the from the house. It broke your ass. Eat a glass. Yeah, no. Um, it is well known joke slash meta in this game that this game does not exactly encourage the best of. Uh, well, practices. <laughs> Fucking, oh shit, life Life got difficult. Well, I know what I gotta do. 
<laughs> I mean, we'd be doing it a lot less if we can just get our hands on some fucking antibiotics. Dude, what we is... To, we need to find an herbal, like, antibiotics recipe. What the... I'm, f thinking, I'm considering just taking up the medical profession just to fucking make them. Like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm wondering here, like, why are they so fucking rare? What's going on this run-through? I'm, I'm gonna guess it's the mod. I think it's part of the mod making this more difficult. Yeah, the cook the cooking pot like spawn rate is obviously fucked because of the mod. Like we shouldn't have this many cooking pots. Raiding med places is important during the apocalypse. See, you're, you're not wrong, Wither. It's just they just we've done that, and they're just there's no antibiotics. Like that's the that's the position that we're in. We've we've done the we've done the try hard survivalist thing and we haven't been rewarded with the resources oh yeah uh, and our kickstar uh, and our kickstar uh goldman raiding in with a party of five thank you for the raid uh if it's a reference to emma uh i appreciate it how was your uh how was your stream what did y'all get up to we uh started off in politics Talk some shit about fucking cops. Then came over here to seven days to, like, well, frankly, occasionally. <clears throat> uh, there may or may not be a cop, uh, uh, an enemy cop class in this game. That's all I'm saying. Uh, fucking, all right. So, it's like, what, 1 a.m.? So... Our little fucking Ann Capistan bitch over here ain't gonna be open for a while. She probably still doesn't have any antibiotics because fuck her. Kai the ego fash. Oh sweet, we've got uh we've got fucking um Oh damn it. Yeah, watch this though. Hang on, this is great. Bam. Anyway, based Kai. Yeah. Anyway, those those are done. Uh, I have a I have a suspicion. I know who who it is too. I I you and know I do too because I know necessary. I know who it is because I at least I think I do because that anarchista Goldman is someone that I follow on Twitter, or at least I used to follow on Twitter. So either they're after me or they're after they're after the both of us. Um. Either way. Did did everybody see how difficult the hate raid was? They got up the first one, and that was it. Oh, caboose. Here. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. That's going to be very valuable for us in the coming in the coming horde nights, because you could just fucking line also, them up. Also, if you find rifle parts, give them to me, because I can craft level 5 hunting rifles. Noted. Um, did you see the, uh, the first one was Hakeem Bay did nothing wrong? Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, so if you ro got robbed IRL, who are you calling? A community counselor? No, I'm calling the, uh, the pistol on my hip, dumbass. If you're reliant upon someone else for your own safety, then you're a subservient bootlicking supplicant. So how about you adorn yourself with some actual personal responsibility, not the bullshit that the fucking GOP and the conservatives peddle in this country, and you defend your fucking self. And if you need more defense than that, yes, you can have a community defense organization. Uh, some of them have been rather successful over the years, uh, up to and including going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the LAPD uh, so effectively that the fucking governor had to step in and say, no more guns for black people. So, just saying, that too. Carpe said, fuck Reagan. <laughs> Plus, we can, you know, like, prevent about 80% of those robberies by just, oh, I don't know, dealing with poverty and disenfranchisement. Oh, caboose. Who's got time for solutions? Yeah, I know. I'm being, I'm being optimistic. Fucking stupid idealists. Also, I, I put the scope, that scope you found on a, on the rifle nice i'm ready for you to just like pop like six heads speaking of which um good perk that'll pair up well with that rifle shit that you're specking into uh -huh. get that uh penetrator perk 
because you'll be able to like uh, yeah. when, it, when it's maxed out you can like uh, snipe like through seven like four to seven targets at a time Yep, decommodify essential needs and eliminate 90% plus of the crime. Uh, Wither said Black Panther Party for self-defense was their full name. <laughs> and Nonsense said, I need a daddy who will protect me. Wow. And I guess, I mean, my thing is just like, what, like, you ever been robbed before? Because all cops do, like, when it actually happens, it's just like they show up like hours later just to take inventory of what got taken away. If they do that's that, at all. if they do that at all, yeah, they're like not that's, stopping robberies. Yeah, that's, that's like the mo sure. that, that's the most they'll do. <laughs> it's, it's the most uh, nonsense. They're floating that idea again, dude. I saw fucking what what's his name was floating the idea that it's the Dern video games. Fucking one of our senators or somebody is like saying that it's the video games again. Car accident said, but then who shoots your dog? Um. Yeah. Wither said take inventory Then take more inventory um, <laughs> Mondo making the Thatcher joke But for Reagan Hey 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 Remember Reagan is the best non-binary Gender neutral bathroom We should always make sure the flowers are fertilized By the shit of the working class And watered by the piss of all those who were screwed by him um, <clears throat> Nonsense said the last guy who tried to rob me I told, uh, told him I was busy He was so confused um, I'd be confused. Fuck it, dude. That's 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 a power move. You just like on your cell phone and you just look at him and hold the finger and just like, hold on. <laughs> just tell him to wait. Uh, all right. so if you shoot the person robbing you, how are you going to prove you didn't just murder him without a police in investigation? Call the police after. Sa yeah, I mean, sa and also same dialogue tree. It's like I. You know, it's like, you. It's you. They're after. Ah, uh, damn. Somebody, somebody's been lurking my Twitter. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Catacillo X John Gazebo. That name sounds familiar, but I don't remember. I beef with a lot of people on Twitter. Why do the both of you have white bikes, and I have to get the fucking pink one? <laughs> you, you, here, trade, trade. Give me the Cause fucking. Cause give the me the pink person. bike. It's locked. Unlock your bike. Look, uh, the only person that I know that I burned was this anarchista Goldman person. There you because go. it turned out that they tried to defend Thank you, Kai. like a You're welcome, Caboose. It turned out that they tried to defend like some pedophilic relationship with like some dude that Emma Goldman was involved with and I just unfollowed them over that. So that's like my, my big Twitter transgression that may have caused this. Ah. Uh, you know. Well, then you um you you're to be put in the punishment uh pavilion. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you try to stand up, stand up to the globalist pedophiles in 2022. Uh, I mean, you know. Um, Speaking of which, that person that I'm actually... Uh, did you tell it? Them? No, I just found out about it because somebody else fucking told me about it on Twitter. And then they had screenshots. And um, I, I was, you know... So we have two different people. Ken Sai said, my house was broken into. According to the neighbor witness who called the cops, they kicked in the front door, went inside the house, left about a minute later with nothing visible in their hands. <laughs> Zippy. Speaking of I had to call the cops. I was, at, uh, I was the front register girl, and someone came in and robbed us, asked for all the money. He was mad there weren't any 20s in the drawer. The store still filled the whole... Uh, the, store, uh, the store still filed a whole thing, even though the dude got like 30 bucks in fives and ones. That's uh. hilarious. Oh, speaking of which, Wither, you should unfollow that anarchistic Goldman person. They're they're like they're bad dudes. Cause I know you follow them. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, she she went on a whole tirade about how like the modern left is like too chicken shit to defend the. People, uh, <laughs> you know that that came before them and blah blah blah. Uh, cra what she, crazy crail. Um, yeah, the NRA didn't ban guns inside their convention this time. They have in the past, um, but you are actually incorrect about this one. Um, the Secret Service did um, because of the presence of Trump. If that's a distinction that you care about, that's up to you. Uh, but it is a distinction that would be brought up if you're in the like you know in an argument or debate with somebody. So, I I make a point to mention it. 
But yeah, for uh, for the for the genius in chat that was wondering like what happens if like we kill somebody in self defense and then like I don't fuck. I mean, it's like they, they same shit happens. You like people will get put in jail and prison and shit for like justified shoots. Like that. I don't know what your point is. Their point is, is they like the fact that the cops stood by and while children were murdered. True. Yeah, they're on team cop. That's what that's about. Yes, I am team no police. That is a fair assessment of my position. This level. Wasting this XP. Oh, we need to find fucking. Oh, Alright, cool. Trigger those two. Brand. Uh, Mondo. Hold on, Mondo. I'll read your comment. Wait, seriously? The the bootlickers uh, got saved by the goddamn Secret Service. What did they think they were gonna do? Shoot the guy? Yeah, yeah. That is that is what happened. It is by order of the Secret Service that the NRA convention is actually disarmed to the degree it is. Um, in the past, NRA conventions have been. Um, secured like that as well, so it isn't like out. It, it's not unheard of, but it is worth mentioning for the per if you're gonna get into a fucking debate or argument online and you're gonna roll that line out, you better be certain about what you're doing, because um, it's an easy fucking gotcha real quick for fucking some chuddy asshole. seem like they seem more aggressive i'm just trying to figure out like what i did or who this is because there's a bunch of people on twitter that this could be <laughs> i fucking <laughs> i'm sorry oh i don't give a shit um yeah the zombies just seem more aggressive like they push up on you harder like after being hit and stuff they do and then once you knock them down they calm down again Yeah, they seem to have a, a, a bee in their bonnet about egoism, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't fucking... Like, if they want to talk to me, that's no problem. I just, you know... At the at the very least, they could at least keep this on Twitter. Like, just add me on Twitter, and then just, uh, you know, fucking... We, we can go from there. Like, it doesn't... Like, I, I don't know what the oh, fuck... Oh, yeah, 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 they're all about the social... Yeah, dude, they're, they're, they're just, like, straight up anti-egoism. Dude, they're, 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 yeah. they're tagging out, like, social anarchy and shit like that. It, well, that's what that is. No common chick for life. Social anarchy gang. I'm assuming that's no common chick. I don't know what else the NCC could mean. Uh, fucking, these cops are probably people who say that they, uh, they quote, don't want their tax money going to help those people. It's easier to assume that they would say, I'm not risking my life for those kids. Yeah, probably. I mean, you're probably right. They didn't shoot him during the presidency. Why now? <laughs> um... Oh, Jesus Christ, you're literally quoting Brennan on that one, Wither. I know that fucking line miles away. That's fucking Brennan Lee Mulligan. Uh, laws are threats made by the dominant socioeconomic ethnic group in a given nation. It's just a promise of violence that's enacted, and the police are basically an occupying army. The next line is, so you kids want to make some bacon? And he lights a Molotov cocktail, pulls down a balaclava, and fucking lights the police department on fire. It's funny. Yeah, that's Brennan. Good memes. 
Like I said, he's um, <laughs> he's not on Team Capitalist, so let's just put it that way. There we go. All right. Hey, I heard about that guy just recently getting out of prison, Mondo. Um, yeah, I forget his name. <laughs> Marcus, hello, I was summoned by pe people talking about the law and hating police. What goes on, people? Oh, Marcus. How goes, how goes the legal profession, Marcus? Found a wrench. What the fuck? The fuck that was about. Also, yeah, Glaze, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump won again. Dude, that, that cult of personality is fucking strong. Up here, worth Jesus Christ. Also, for the troll, I'm not an ego com, just putting that out there. Like, you know, just because because I saw one of the things was like ego com is hot for like crypto fascism or some shit. That you know, that's not my speed. Um. Yeah, I don't see, uh... Right. But Ancom, but I prefer Anson. I, yeah. You know... Yeah, I'm not gonna have... He'll be Kamala too, I think. I don't think Kamala's gonna run again. Or Kamala. I'm all the cop. Fair enough, Mondo. Uh. Expect them to be accurate. I mean, they stalked me from Twitter to here. They, you know, I feel like they'd at least have some sort of, you know, like fucking. I'd, I'd expect my stalker to know me a little better. Jeez. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, if you're gonna obsess over me on that level, at least get it right. They really do- dude, the social anarchists really do have a problem with individualists. They fucking do- I- I have been beating that drum for a minute. <laughs> it's just- the only problem is that it's just, like, not that big of an issue in the grand scheme of things, so it's like it doesn't really get the- the attention that it, like, deserves. Kind of Why? blows up my mind that there'd be anarchists out there that it would have an issue with individualism. Well, anarch like Kropotkin was a was a mistake. I'll just bite that bullet. It wasn't a mistake. It's just fucking dude. They they're they're commies more than there are an they are anarchists usually. It, which is why I'm saying Kropotkin was a mistake. I'm saying him himself. His his theory is bullshit. I do have high stalker standards, alright? <laughs> I'm just saying, this isn't even my fucking stream, this isn't even my fucking, you know, I'm just a blip on the fucking screen for like half the people that aren't like super keyed into the community. It's like, this person clearly followed me along, created several accounts related to my Twitter drama, and then he just, you know, I just, you know, I just wish that I, that they would get it right. Also, yeah, whether I am thinking of getting back into streaming, it's just I fucking I want to see if I can find like a less like a, like because the big reason why I stopped streaming, like one of the bigger reasons aside from like scheduling issues, because trust me, running a consistent stream fucking sucks, like scheduling scheduling wise. Um, 
the other big issue is that like the program that I use to like get my little avatar on screen uh, is like fairly resource intensive, like for my computer. So either the gameplay starts to lag, or the character itself will just like freeze up, or all that sort of shit. So I want to see if I can find like a more like just a just a like less intensive fucking solution. Oh, like just like even if it's just like a picture that just like lights up every now and again. Uh, cupcake, you want to fucking tag me with uh, what uh, f I I recognize that name. Uh, apparently we have someone said Masta Beta. They literally uh, killed the shooter. Lol. Like you would have done better, Internet Rambo. Uh, no, I wouldn't have gone in in the first place because I don't care about securing your schools, but um, At the end of the day, I would have thought the highly trained SWAT team could have gotten out of uh, gotten off their ass You know quicker than oh, how long did they take an hour? 77 minutes for the big bad fucking uh, police Rambos to get off their fucking ass and actually do something? Or is it just because it was a bunch of brown kids and the racist white guys didn't give a shit about them? Was it was it they were lazy, dumb, impotent, or racist? Take your pick. Personally, I think it's a combination of all of the above. And I also, it's, it's worth noting that that fucker had 16... Uh, 1600 rounds of ammunition in the car he had know, approximately 350 could've. on him apparently well, either way point is Fool yeah. could have done a lot more damage if he you know if he planned it just a little bit they better. chased him on foot for a half a mile the you know full well the reason they couldn't keep they couldn't keep up you saw the photos you saw the photos Fucking tubby fucking dump a uh, dumpster fucking worthless fucking cop Texas pig cops. That's it Absolutely garbage human beings Fucking they were out of breath. They couldn't keep up with him Keep in mind they were within walking distance of the school. That's the hilarious thing We threw the fucking map on the screen to see uh, to show uh, people exactly how far away the police station is from that school, it's literal walking distance. Meanwhile, a singular fucking off, uh, federal cop, uh, an ICE officer, went in ahead of everybody and fucking got a bullet thrown above his head. And he was like, fuck it, you know? No flak jacket, no fucking... He had a hit a attack vest, but that's it. And he took a fucking bullet through the fucking uh, baseball cap. At least he tried to do something. Meanwhile, the fucking pig cops are, what, busy tasing, pepper spraying, and handcuffing parents who would have gone in. Yeah, we probably would have lost a parent or two, but we probably would have lost, you know, one or two less kids, too. So, all I'm saying is, well, the cops, what did the cops do? The cops stood by, ate donuts, drank water for 77 fucking minutes, as near as we can tell. And the only thing they did on the scene was tase, handcuff, and pepper spray parents who actually would have gotten something done. What they did is uh, shoot, uh, allow a dude to shoot fish in a barrel until he basically tired himself out. What a great strategy. What a great strategy. Also, and if this needs to be said, cops are public servants. We out, we give them legal license to kill. We outfit them with a ton of gear to fucking, you know, handle these sorts of situations. If you're not prepared to die, get the fuck with out. The, with that sort of preparations, shouldn't be a cop. Full yeah. stop. It's just, it's just that simple. It's like a soldier who's afraid, uh, who, who's afraid to work the front line. Like, what do you think you were signing up for? Like, get your ass in and fucking die. That's, should we pay you to die, man? Yeah, okay, star fash symbol is right. Okay, this is like some old school fucking Twitter beef. Holy shit, dude! Why? <laughs> AJ, especially if you're gonna use the fear for your life as a reason uh, uh, to shoot, you have to follow through. Dude, they use that stupid reason all the time, right? They're constantly in fear of their lives. 
It's called being tactical and not running in like headless chickens without a known description of the target. They had a known description of the target. Yeah, they, had, they chased yeah, they had a known him to the school. They followed him the whole way to the school. They engaged in a high-speed chase with uh, with the target. They had identification and eyes on the target before he entered the school. All the way up to the point where he entered the school. The school resource officer left. Cops went in. Texas Department of Public Safety admitted police officers entered the school to retrieve their own kids and then fucked off. So literally everything you're saying is just wrong every time you say it. So as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, shut the fuck up and fuck off. <laughs> like, right. And again, same, same, you know, statement from before. If kids are dying and you're hearing them getting shot for an hour, it's like, yeah, you got to comes a point where it's like, look, you're the adult here. You lived a full long life. You're outfitted with, you know, bulletproof vests and weapons of your own. Time to roll the dice. Yeah, it's just like, you, 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 don't sign up for the job if you can't handle its responsibilities. Yeah. Fucking, I don't want to kill anybody. You're a marine sniper. You're in the wrong job. I'm afraid of fire. You're a firefighter. Why are you here? Right? Like, this is the conversation we're having now because of dummies like you. Okay. Yeah, imagine a firefighter not running into a burning building. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, look. It's fuck. Like, look, if you are of the opinion that, like, yes, we need cops, like, you know, like, let, let's throw away the, like, police abolition, like, arguments for a minute. Like, you know, let's, let's just not even touch that. If you do truly believe that there is just going to be a need for an armed police force. Wow, I didn't. You're looking you just you rough. you need you, you need people that are willing to actually do that. If you if you're concerned about like if you think that's like necessary for citizen safety. Like they just Thank part of the so job is throwing yourself in front of some bullets. That's just the reality of the matter. <gasps> okay. Um the dude thinks I have no training. Brilliant. Yeah, I figured as much. Brilliant. I've helped train the likes of those assholes before. <sighs> and also, the police department has already said that they handled it poorly. I don't know why you're still playing defense room. Okay, kids. I hope you get feeling better. Okay, kids. Okay, kids. Where and how far? Okay. I'm leaving presence in the base. Oh, oh what did you what you get? What did you do? What did you do? Everybody gets three jars of honey. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I could beat I could beat you there. Guess who has three antibiotics on them? Me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> did, did we get the same quest rewards? No. Did you have a did you have an option for a pistol? Uh yes. I sold okay, then, I yeah, sold the, I sold okay, the pistol cool. back to her. Fucking sweet. Alright, well. I ain't complaining. Uh, it'll be in the top food container. Um, there you go. There's also, yeah, Glaze, I'm in the same camp. I, I'm Principally, it'd be cool if teachers could handle guns, but in this fucking country, I'd be real surprised if them teachers didn't end up just shooting half their students. I do, look, I, I'm, I'm theoretically fine with it, but here's my actual conversation. How much do we expect of our teachers? Like, seriously, we expect them to be, like, emotional counselors. We expect them to be educators. We expect them to be part-time parents. We expect them to be, like, nutritionists. We expect them to be uh, psychologists. Now we expect them to be SWAT officers, too? Like, how, what, what's, the, what's the job description look like for teacher now in the modern U.S. era if this is the conversation we're having? Right, like, sure, 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 sure. If you wanna, if you wanna arm teach, whatever, that's a separate conversation. But I, I think there's a legitimate conversation to be had around the concept of, holy fuck, what? How much? How much more do you want from your teachers? Like, 
what's the pay? I mean, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, if they were being comp like 150000 a year, it's like, all right, fuck it. You know, it is what it is at that point. But thirty grand, go fuck yourself. Okay, kids, this is the classroom A case at Willy Bonka. <laughs> Don't touch it in case. Maybe not require it, but let it be an option. I mean, yes, but again, it's just, you know, for the pay... Yeah, I'd be like, this my, you know, I'll go full capitalist here. For the pay, it's just not worth it. You can't, you know. No amount of pay is worth that bullshit. I know, right? With a city right. school mm -hmm. needs a gun range. <laughs> Give me like 350 a year and, I'll, and I might do it. Do they even have time for firearms training? No, they're busy using their own paycheck to buy basic school equipment. Fuck oh, it. It just got me a sledge. Oh, yeah, I've... Like, I've got, like, a few of those. Oh, fucking sweet. Well, then we can upgrade the horde base, then. Glazy said, did you say 350,000? Yes, Cat said 350,000. Yeah, yeah 350,000, I'll fucking, I'll protect some kids. With, like, a fucking, with a rifle. I don't, you know, statistically speaking, I, it's pretty rare to be part of a school shooting. If you're giving me $350,000 a year just for the chance that I have to use a fucking firearm, fuck it. Look. Easy. Hi, Officer Harris. How are you? Are you engaging in community service? Not so much anymore. Right I gotta use the restroom. Pray for me, chat. Pray that I don't get eaten by zombies. Um, also, stalker, I love you, baby. Uh, most of these teachers are like little old ladies, says Zippy. All right. Jesus Christ. What do you want? I, I just... What, what? How much more do you want from fucking teachers? It's just my question. It's like... You know, yeah, yeah, sure, arm them, whatever. I don't, like, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, holy shit, that's an insane conversation you're having. For $30,000 a year, by the way. How the fuck did you get under that that quickly? God, I hate these little fucking jumpers. Those little Peter jumper fuckers that crawl around on the ground are the most obnoxious fuckers in this game. There we go. Um, I want the third wave feminist to wander into teaching positions with that 300,000. Uh, 300, mm, you really don't. Um, my dad made me, uh, my dad made, uh, my dad was the highest paid educator in his school district. Um, uh, fucking... He had to, uh, he had to sue, wait, wait, I don't know, fucking, he never made more than a hundred thousand dollars though. Um, all right, Is there, my bike's out here. You know what? Just carry the bike because I probably won't exit this building in the same place. Do I think, all right. Medicine, medicine, medicine. All right. There's one medicine cabinet in an entire fucking, like, ER. Sure, sure, sure. That, that, that totally feels right. All right, how do I get up to level two of this fucking building? Um, Glazy says, I was baptized. Uh, congratulations, I guess, Glazy. Like, baptized in a lake of fire? You know there's people with actual fucking founders badges, dummy. Alright, fuck it. I'm just doing this the manual way. Alright. 
Christ, they tore right through this fucking concrete. Um. <laughs> Your fucking tour is over. Um, I mean, anything a VIP can do, whether you can do, you just don't get the badge because you're a mod. That's all. Um, fucking hey, they came through here too. Wow. Um. I can't do it right now, Zippy. I mean, fucking, I think the mods can do it. If one of the mods wants to try doing it. Do what? Uh, give Zippy a VIP badge. I think the mods can do it. Jesus Christ, this building is weird. Okay, so they barricaded there. Zippy the Vippy. That's just a... Okay, so... Oh, it's a fucking... Okay, so it's a stairwell that's been absolutely, like, knocked down. I see what's going on there. Alright, hang on. Let me see what I can do here. Community roles manager. Hold on. I'm hearing footsteps, so. Over here, here. sec and uh whether are you actually doing it or are you just watching me do it because we're like overlapping okay um let's see and all right, I'm back, chat. He's any flipped. any new developments? Um, hey, Karina. I got just scroll back and saw you. Um, oh shit, I'm infected. Fuck. All right, now we're going back to this. Fucking. All right. Oh, I got three broken glass. Fucker, sit down. Oh, they made it up. I'm glad that, it, that we don't have to worry about trigger warnings. Die. Well, um, okay, so there's, there's a couple of those badges handed out. 
They got what, what what badges? Hey, fucking demanding little punks in fucking chat wanting VIP badges while I fucking, you know, avoiding zombies. <laughs> you never uh, please them. Nope. All right, is there another? Yeah, there's more. How do we get up to it? Oh, it's there. Okay, I see you. I see you. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Dude, you can't like you can't do a, a horizontal attack. It seems like on the uh, the wooden spikes. I <laughs> noticed. She just goes right through it. You've given us an inch, and now we take a mile. Well, stay down. Oh, he, g he gave one to Glazy? Yeah. That's sweet. There we go. Cassidy's fucking chastising them now. Bad anarchists. <laughs> Alright, now we're up to level three. Dude, this pop and pills facility or whatever, this hospital is not fucking great. It's not very loot rich, let's just put it that way. I just found a level six pipe pistol. It does 62.4 damage. Not too bad. That'll that's enough for a decent secondary. Where the fuck's all my stone? I, I, I haven't touched it. Yeah, don't look at me. Oh shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to mining. I shall be in the mines. I feel like we've collectively developed a weird maternalism during, towards Glazy. I feel like it's a perfectly normal amount of maternalism. I knew you were coming up behind me, punk. He's our baby. Yeah, exactly. It's just, yeah, it's just, you know, fuck it. Some, some people just need to be baby in life. A child. Alright, there we go. We really need to make a more organized storage system. Yeah, we haven't even fucking tried. Uh, what's his weak crap? The person at the base does that. Yeah, that's, that's that's fair. I spent a huge amount of time in the last fucking iteration of this server just sorting your guys' shit. Yet yeah, no, I die. Well, I have not even tried, and I will bite that bullet because I don't care on that level. <laughs> you motherfuckers, yeah. look, we have stuffed chests. We have fucking, you know, we have one like fucking book chest. That's all we need, right? We have a we have cooking chests. There's 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 a system. There's a method to the madness. No, there isn't. All right, let's see. Jesus Christ, there's like no, there's beds, but no medicine. There's fucking. Jesus. This shit facility. Come here to die. I mean, yeah. Stay at home cat getting called out. Look, I'll I'll accept it. I look, my priority was getting a roof over the head of these two bastards. Alright. I, I, we I made even, them we a didn't fucking even raid fucking, We didn't even use the roof. Caboose and I are out fucking in the in the, in the field killing zombies. Well, I made the I made the horde base, and that was used pretty well. All right, is this God? Jesus fucking Christ! Break the portraits. No symbols in my anarchy. Uh, no, the uh, all pictures have a an RNG chance of like having something spawn behind them. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta break the pictures. Also, broken glass. Oh, 
I like a broken glass is basically just this game's cyanide. You don't need to justify it, Kai. What are you using nitrate for again? That's uh, gunpowder. Gun oh, okay. I can make us ammo. Yeah, there's a fucking huge ass vein of nitrate down here. Have you found any coal? No. Oh, Jesus. Just iron and nitrate. Just a pile of fucking bodies. <sighs> that face when Zomboid's loot drop rates are greater than this game. Um, let's see. It's consistent, at least, in Zomboid. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. But can you find cigarettes? No. This game doesn't have that me mechanism, and it's worse for it. Because my guy feel like, it feels like he needs a cigarette. Yeah. I'm sure I could find like a drugs mod. All right. Um. Yeah. Why not? I wonder if that counts. So there's another level up there. How the fuck do I get to it? Why is this not okay? It's marked empty. It's just not updating. All right. Oh, fuck me. Can I? I'll probably get through this quicker. God damn, SJW woke left is trying to stamp out smoking and shit. I know, right? Oh, I'm uncomfortably sober. Ugh. Right, is there anybody? I'm just gonna close that. Um. <laughs> As I smack myself in the face with the uh, completely just used for tobacco water pipe. Yeah, Aspen. Aspen, you joining me? <sighs> Willy Bonka said, uh, just got back with nuggies. <coughs> I, I do not envy you. <coughs> Gotta grind them still. Oh, those type of nuggies. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we're talking. We're talking weeds, cat. I just, you know. You gotta be hip with the kids, cat. You gotta inject. I am hip you with have kids. to inject multiple weeds. <laughs> Public has veggie pizza. I also do not envy you. Yeah, that's... I'm good. I envy all of you, because tonight's a fasting night. Oh, rough. <coughs> Where'd she come from? Where'd you come from? You came from somewhere. Tell me where you came from. Yeah, you're wrong. It is delicious. I mean, hey, if you enjoy it, more power to you. Yeah. <laughs> Wither said, okay, veggie food, but the veggie bit is THC. <laughs> now that I can get on board with. 
Now you're talking with her. Weights are ordered. Weights are ordered. It's, it's time, to, time beef to beef up. What kind of weights? Uh, Glazy. Yeah, what'd you get? Yeah. Uh, Rev, I've got Royal Grease Pie, Silk Trip, and Presidential Kush. And that shawarma was good. I, dude, shawarma is based. I love fucking shawarma. Uh, Dozy Cookies... Uh, Dozy Cookies, Moon Ricks, and Jet Cake Flour. Let's blast off, baby, says Willy Bonka. Moon Rocks. Okay, yeah, okay, so Dozy, and cookie, yeah, Dozy Cookies, Moon Rocks, and Jet Cake Flour. Just dumbbells for now, 15 pounds. I mean, it's a start. You could do a lot You could do a lot more with dumbbells than people actually would think you I love could. my dumbbells. <laughs> they, it's, I mean, it saves you from getting a cheater bar, too. For gonna, sure. Yeah, you I mean you're gonna need a shit, dude. Don't ever do this fucking equal, this fucking Hollywood shit. Like your hands perfectly equal on a bar, a straight bar. Fucking doing curls, man. You are gonna blow out your fucking tendons doing that shit. There's a reason cheater bars exist. Um, so you just automatically get to do that with dumbbells. So you're ahead of the game there. I've always wondered why they were like that. Yeah. Yeah, cheater cheater bars are have those like that that weird W bar. That you see dudes doing curls with. Yeah, the, the reason that exists is because of forearm tendonitis. Ah. Yeah, if you if you do a straight bar and you do that just straight up bicep curl, it overloads these tendons here. And so, yeah, you absolutely, uh, over here, mm -mm, get it on camera, there we go, here and here. And so, yeah, you'll end up with uh, fucking blown out tendons uh, lifting that way really quickly, especially at high loads. So, yeah, cheater bars exist. And there's even, um, like, other ones that, like, you can just sort of step into and lift. They're just sort of like giant steel loops that you just grab. I'll say, yeah, it is expensive, Glazy, but in the long run, you're saving when it comes to weights. Like, it, it's... The rule is, pay the membership for the machines, buy the weights at home. Like, really, all you need... Like, all you need need is, like, just a bench press and a fucking... and a squat rack after the weights, after the dumbbells. We got painkillers at home, right? Yes. Yeah, we have, okay, quite, you're, we have a few Your of boy just got concussed. Yeah, we have a few of those. Oh, God. That's exactly what I hate. Bunch of fucking crawling shit. At least it's not the jumping ones. Holy shit, there's like four or five golems in a row up here. I hate these fucking things. I Peters, the Peters, the jumpers that crawl around and jump, those for me are the most obnoxious shit in this game. I agree. And a Doberman and another golem. Jesus fucking God, dude, you're having a day. Fucking, it's just this, like, top, one of these top levels of this popping pills. I'm, I'm finally, like, now that I have, like, antibiotics and I have vitamins and shit, like, I, I haven't been finding them here, by the way. Um, this has been a loot, a loot poor environment. Um, Ooh, by the way, I just refreshed that um, that working stiff tools by the uh, by the river next yeah. to the bridge. Yes. Just refreshed it. Nice. Yeah, so see I'm not gonna loot it all, but if you're ever in the neighborhood, just you know. Okay. Loot's there. All right. So I am on the fifth floor. This is the end of that. Wait, what's this? <coughs> okay, this is just this is jack shit. Uh, smack the shit out of that dog. Yeah, I did. Um, if you saw, uh, if you happen to see the hit I did on the vulture on the roof as well, I fucking straight up did power swing on a vulture, and it it went a distance. It was just like right off the roof of the building, right? It was just, it was just a proper like, and it's out of here. Um, let's see. Yeah, this this building has been disappointing. That's that's all I have to say about it. 
And the day I got a PC, I fucking lost my phone. My luck sucks, says Wither. Dude, that's rough. That is rough. <laughs> that's fucking rough. Yeah, I feel you on that. Dude, I didn't, uh, if, if you, um, like, need to recover your account, I just locked you down on Discord with her. That's all I did. I took away all of your, your privileges and abilities and stuff like that. But yeah, Wither lost, lost her there. I'm sorry, Wither. Um, fucking, uh, phone. And yeah, Wither sent me, uh, Whisper, oh. whisper on Twitch and was like, hey, um, Discord, just, you know, heads up. So, yeah. I didn't pull the account entirely. I just locked it to the floor. So if you need to recover that account, just let me know. <clears throat> I don't have my Google emails saved for my work stuff. Oof. <sighs> Rev said, my phone just quit working as a phone. Following in the grand tradition of my PS4 and PC. God damn, Rev. Uh, Marcus, oh, oh, I almost forgot. When I was in court today, someone dragged over. The, uh, someone was dragged over the coals by the judge. She stole 20k from the local PTA between 2013 and 2020. She wanted off probation despite only repaying 15 of the 20k. I assume all that money was spent on the maintenance cost of those giant brass balls of hers. <laughs> uh, yes. Because that's what apparently Marcus does. Marcus, like, works alongside judges or a judge. I'm not sure if it's an individual or a multitude relationship, but, yeah, that's Marcus's gig, basically, is he works alongside judges. So he sees the cases from the perspective of the judge. So he's an attorney with a judge's viewpoint. Those are some pretty valuable life experiences. <laughs> yeah. Teaches you a lot about how shit folds. Yeah. And and he is a um, person of color. Um, so operating within that system with that understanding. Yeah, it's, it's you know, Marcus has a couple of... Uh, <laughs> there's a reason Marcus drinks. <laughs> uh, in the grand tradition of lawyers... You get a you get an, an up close look. Well, I need to drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, is someone just black? Uh, yes. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, well, the Marcus is black. Yes. What the fuck? Oh Jesus Christ! She's glitched into the wall. I can't get her. <laughs> She's just a danger to me. Marcus is in deep cover. <laughs> uh, yeah. Behind the blinds. For sh for real. And now he's answering legal questions. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if a shotgun can do this. Nah, Marcus isn't just is just in blackface twenty four seven. There we go. Must get, must get exhausting. Uh, <laughs> people thirsting over female animal characters. Color me shot. What side conversation is happening in there? I have no clue. <laughs> 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 I'm just playing. I'm gaming. There's there's a conversation. There's like Marcus is like having a conversation with like Exol and te about textualism and realism, uh, originalism. Marcus and uh, was just in there like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Marcus is like black fucking an like anarcho warrior. Like, well, yes. Like, you know, Wither's excited. And then just public, public, th uh, the people thirsting over female animal characters cover me shocked. And I'm like, wait, what? And I'm looking up like, what, what side conversation is that a part of? We talking about furries? I, and then I need photos for research. 
uh, uh, public said, I haven't a clue. Something about the new furry trap. I don't know. Oh, I think I know what they're talking about. Okay. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Pound coin's talking about it, whatever it is. Completely unrelated to anything. Has anyone uh, seen very normal people on Reddit and the like reactions to Gadget in that new Rescue Rangers film? Because goddamn. Oh, apparently that's a thing. I just, I mean, I just learned that. That that makes hey. sense though. That makes sense. I, I am so fucking lost. What's going on? Okay, okay I get um, it. Cat, it really doesn't matter because I understand what the fuck they're talking about. Yes. I I just want to know. Okay, so do you know what Rescue Rangers is? No. Okay, Rescue Rangers is a Disney IP that has like a bunch of fucking squirrels, rodents. Uh, oh god. Um, that are like. Like the engineer shit, they build like ships and shit like that, and they like, and they, okay. they it's like an, uh, it's a serial series, and there's just like an individual episode that like the the, the baddie of the week sort of thing, or the the moral tale that's going to be told through this story sort of thing, and okay. so yeah, they're like they're like already anthropomorphized animals. Um, and it's so this is thing from way back, but like, yeah, we didn't hypersexualize um, fucking uh, gadget back then. Gadget is the um, the female character in a largely male crew, so she's like that tomboy esque. Yeah, yeah, okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like, yeah, and so like that did, just didn't like occur to a lot of us. But that's just like commonplace now on the internet. Since there's going to be a Rescue Rangers reboot, there's guaranteed to be that now. And so, yeah, that makes sense. That okay. They're, they're, so now, okay, I need to see a picture of this character. It, in it the goes reboot. slightly deeper than that, Kai, because I have <sighs> some slight ends on this shit. Oh Jesus Christ! Being have another, you, being a furry. Have but, uh, you have you guys already fucking gone to work on this character? No. Well, yes, but no. Well, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Fucking one of the big things going on about that now and the, why there's been generating so much buzz. The tankies are right. Cat ha the, the, or gadget or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and one of the scenes had a particular design. And this particular design was based off of a uh, design another character, or another artist did of her online. And he's a very well-known... Uh, porn artist. Nice. Of course. So he, so she got Lola, Lola bunnied here, is what I'm hearing. I guess. Uh, did you not hear about that one when the new Space Jam was announced? Yeah. Well, she got like, she got like weirdly designed to be like, I guess, less sexual. Yes, and then a porn artist uh, did a rendition of her that was more sexual, more in line with the original design, and that yes. set the internet on fire. I have a lot of respect for furries, just at the um, like, just for the sheer degeneracy you people get up to. Well, we can actually design <laughs> decent-looking characters, unlike Hollywood. Furries. That's the fucking horrible part. You motherfuckers <sighs> can draw. You, <laughs> you, oh, yeah, no, no, the entirety, dude. I, that is so, um, so, Mitre's partner makes cash on the side doing that. Apparently uh, there's that good cash if they're popular either. enough. Yeah. If oh you, yeah, no, dude, people are making bank drawing furry porn. Dude, it, it's, do y'all, y'all spending some money on it. Like, respect, like, respect, like, that's how you gain acceptance, by the way. Like, that's that's the trick. Fucking keep keep spending y'all's cash and fucking just keep like there's a whole segment of society that will slowly but surely there's like costumers and like downstream manufacturing suppliers and fucking retail locations and fucking hotel chains. Like if y'all can keep it together and fucking spend y'all's cash in society, it'll just be a thing. People just be, eventually everybody will just have a little story. It'll be like you know, yeah, like we like to pick on them, like like the uh, like uh, people pe pick on redheads or something like that. It's like yeah, but my buddy, he's a furry. Yeah, he doesn't hurt anybody. Fuck off. <laughs> they were here. They were at the hotel. They were perfectly lovely. Just keep oh, it. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking weirdos, and they can be a little uncomfortable to be around. But for the most part, they're harmless. Yeah. Just keep those stories coming and fucking you'd be, you'd be surprised. Society will just like, eh, whatever.
<laughs> See what it is, the furry community needs to embrace some more like a... Like, it's already there, but it, it does need to go like... It needs to embrace the anime aesthetic even more. It works. Oh, like, like, that, we that, have like, a huge the... subgenre of that. It's called yeah. Kimono. Yeah, 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 but, but that's what I'm getting at. Is it like that's that's your Love in it. with the normies if you want to start like converting people. Wait, are you saying ISIS is going to start recruiting furries next? Uh, Che, I this, be time, surprised. this timeline, this timeline, I, yeah, no, that's that's I wouldn't put money on that one. I mean, we have Nazi furs, I don't put it like past yeah. terrorist furs, yeah, right? ISIS furs. I, I would I would love to see a Taliban furry. Uh, the women, the women will be the first ones, right? Like that. Oh. Yeah, like female. That that's okay. That's for like the fe they cover themselves. Like, is that does that count? Is that technical? I I think. Would that work? I, is that does I, that pass muster? Can we? Does anybody? Does anybody this, have any knowledge in, in the in the area of Islam on this one? Would a this first this has become suit, very haram very quickly? Would the first, I know of furry would, Muslims. Would the I, would I, the first would the suit count <laughs> for a woman? As as a hijab is what he's saying. Yeah. Oh, oh God! I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> like, does, this, does this count? <laughs> I mean, considering the design of many of her suits, it could be seen as another form of temptation. Is it, is it, is it, if there was, is there an aesthetic that's achievable with a fucking fursuit that would be like considered, like, I don't know, whatever they're going to require it to be, sedate or fucking boring? Okay, I and you've you've raised a very interesting question that I never knew. What that are, what's, I, the, yeah, what's the what's the no, what's the rule what's the rule that's going to exclude the fursuit? Because it's going to be some shit about I I don't know like a, an it un, be the un, actual un, fursuit's un, design an unmodest uh 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 an immodest uh, uh 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 appeal or appearance right and in, in it would have something to do with modesty or something that would probably get it excluded. Uh, yes. Fit, it's too tight. Wait, so would they be it okay? It can't be form fitting. Would they be okay with s s of someone in a fursuit wearing hi in a hijab? Is what if the fursuit had a hijab as part of the design? Yes. I have seen that. Oh, shit. Okay. But they're usually just, you know, normal Muslims. They're not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, like, just fursuit, then hijab. Can we get, that's the next step for Islam. If you can get a progressive enough sect of Islam to be cool with fursuit plus, like, hijab, and it counts, and they're just like, yeah, whatever. But it still follows the rules of, like, you know, that would be an interesting sect to follow. Be like, okay. So they're, like, like truly liberal fucking islam that's nice i like that i i pray that we don't ever have a contingent of muslim viewers <laughs> that, that's a that'll be fun it's a fun conversation i you know i'll have the same conversation with them that i have with all the fucking abrahamic bullshit same critiques across judaism christianity and islam yeah I need to ask a Muslim friend at some point about that because that is that is glorious. Yeah, it's got to be haram for some reason, but I, I don't. I want to know the rule. What's the ruling on it? Why is it? Why? Why am I going to hell for suggesting it? You know, I just had the realization out of all the race, creeds, and sexualities I'm friends with, I'm not friends with a single Muslim. They, you know. Just in America, it's just hard. Uh, there are hyper concentrations of them in various locations, but um, yeah, like Minnesota. Yeah, um, I've actually the majority of Muslims that I've known um, were Indian. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Unless so someone in the community who I've befriended is Muslim and just hasn't been out about it. <laughs> that I'm openly gay but closeted Muslim. <laughs> Yes. Not quite what I meant by it. yeah. <laughs> welcome welcome to the welcome to the California that the left wants. <laughs> fucking this is this is what those Stalinist fucking uh types 
are after their forced state atheism. Um, <clears throat> at the very least, it would be permissible in the home around the family since the assumption is, is that you can be immodest uh, there without endangering chastity, says Marcus. I love uh, you, Marcus. You know that? Lawyers, man. They're just amazing to have around. All right, Wither, what the fuck did you find? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's times like these where I, I kind of feel like the internet wasn't a mistake. Oh, that's that kind of thing's really fucking typical in yeah, furry that's, art. There's that's plenty just, of furry Muslims. It's just I've never seen, you know, ISIS recruitment for furries. Oh, that's that's the next step. Holy shit. Like fucking how how hard up are they? <laughs> that's that's when you know somebody's in desperation mode. <laughs> And my theory is, it's like even if you're a not a sexual furry, it's really fucking hard to escape the stereotype. No I, shit, because it's just super prevalent prevalent in the community. I mean, yeah, it's like it's like the drag uh, shit. <clears throat> well, I mean, okay, so if it's a part of your life, if you want to like experience life as this mindset, then. You know, you want to experience multiple aspects of your life as that character in that mindset, right? Like it's oh, it's yeah. it's. No, going I mean, it's to, a pretty logical like through line. It's going like it to, makes sense. It's going to have a sexual component because we have a sexual component, and so if it is a thing that you want to get up to and do. And that's you're into it. That's, I mean, natural. I I don't think it should have to be denied or othered or separated. I think it should be embraced as just a part of it because that's what we do. Yeah. But, but we're still gonna pick on you, you bunch of freaks. <laughs> For sure. I pick on other furs despite being a furry. A hey, fucking pop book said humans are sexual. This is news to me. I thought we, we, <laughs> I just thought we really liked milk. <laughs> oh, exactly, public. That's exactly what we were about. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, Marcus said religion and law degree combined to form the most pointless expertise. I beg to differ, sir. Yeah, don't don't show you don't sell yourself short here. I beg to differ. I looked up a potential fix for these weird glitches I'm getting, so I'm gonna. Oh, they're still going on for you? Yeah, they're still going on for me. Holy you shit! Poor bastard. What happened? Uh, I just fucked up a quest. Uh, what happened? I just got jumped. Oh. Wandering horde. Wandering horde plus quests horde. Mmm. That'll do the fucking job. Yeah. Uh, what are uh, what are they having you do, Caboose? Uh, verify the game integrity. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, real simple stuff. I'm actually surprised that wasn't my first instinct. You uh you might have to just double check the anti cheat setting after that. <coughs> uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, just, it just came to my mind. Yeah, you fucked that link with her. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow. That's a hell of a thing. That's a hell of a look at the token on that. Dude, that's fucking ID'd up the ass. F fucking A. This is why you were this is why you wear an internet rubber, kids. Jesus Christ, you kids are out there just raw dogging the internet. Dude, it's fine if you're gonna go fuck someone in the ass and fucking not do that. But Jesus Christ. Get a VPN. <laughs> Clear your cookies, kids. These things matter. <laughs> <laughs> this message brought to you by the American Catholic Diocese. I got a token error. No shitty composer. I wonder why. <laughs> that was a shit show and a half. Oh shit. All right. 
We're gonna do this, huh? All right. You don't have my private internet access. Right? Yes. Okay. That's rough with it. Oh. I will forever associate private internet access with Scarface yeah. from Street Beefs. <laughs> and nobody will ever break that association for me. We can uh, we can tighten up your browser settings and stuff though, Wither. <laughs> I can only afford the lifestyles equivalent of internet protection for now. Uh Oh, Jesus Christ, I have never successfully lockpicked something in this game, and I put a point into lockpicking, even. Uh, you can continuously lockpick if you have more picks. Yeah, I did have a few. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm, I feel like I need to watch a video on it or something. <laughs> like, am I no, it's literally just keep trying until they get it, until Jesus. you get it. It's pure RNG. Jesus Christ. No. Are you still like holy shit, homie? Stay down. Also, you are correct, Rev. Most of, the only good VPNs are the ones you gotta pay for. It is true. Like, if you actually just don't give a shit about security and you just want to bypass region locks, the free ones are fine. But like, otherwise, yeah, you just need a v you need like a reputable VPN. I just found mayonnaise. Cat, we gonna do some mayo meta? Oh god. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. We're gonna do some mayo I meta. I remember the ice cream meta. Oh my god. Fucking A. Zomboy. My, my severely underweight, extremely intelligent characters. Just bulking the fuck up off of ice cream and mayo. Oh god. Oh, uh, that shit is funny, dude. Uh, is Rise Up open for sign up again, Glazy? It, they shut it down and open it up again from time to time. So if Rise Up is available, use it. Um, and Glazy's saying he got an account, so. For which one? Rise Up. Oh. Um, it's a community organized, like, dude, they've been running e secure email servers and like they've added a VPN service and stuff like that. And they give it free to anybody who like, they're, they're activist driven. So gotcha. like, journalists, activists, that sort of people are the ones who tend to know about and apply for rise up. But yeah, they, they open and close their signups from time to time. So if Glazy's saying he pulled an account, check riseup.net. I get you, Glazy, being another lefty, lefty lib cuck. <laughs> if we can save one, at least we save Glazy. It's a good call, Glazy. Kind of weird how Glazy's our success story and Sven wasn't. <laughs> Glazy, that's a good call. Sven didn't want to be better. Yeah, that is true. Fucking, yeah. That's, that was... But that's the funny thing, is I don't think Glazy does either. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe Glazy secretly wanted it on the inside. That, 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 that checks out for Glazy. I mean, Wither. he does have, like, what, With a, a, a Dom kink or something? Wither. No, he's like a total brat. Whether truth of the matter is, is if you really want to lock it down, if you don't give a shit about fucking a lot of things, run over Tor. <laughs> oh, that is true. Dude, it's going to be, dude, it's going to be scuffed. It's going to be scuffed. It's going to be a scuffed Oof. version of the internet. It's going to fucking, it's going to be slow, slow, slow. Um, but, it, um, and it's going to break a bunch of sites. Um, but Yeah. That's that's the best you is like a, a non-combatant, like a civilian in the IT s s scene, like as far as that region goes. Yeah, it's the best is you, you as a civilian is probably going to get. The uh, Run the, Tor, run a scuffed install of Linux, simple as. Yeah, like there's it. You can you can run Tails. Tails will lock down your OS and your browsing in one go and it runs off the RAM. 
Um, so yeah, if you ran tails, like that's your, that's your go-to, go-to, like lock it down. Or says, fuck your JavaScript. <laughs> Good, Jay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your JavaScript ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's just, um. Or runs on the bare necessities. Whether I'm just telling you, like, it, look, if you want to, if you want to lock it down, lock it down. Yeah. You want to run tour, like you want to run tails. Go look at tails. You look, if you look for tails tour project and. You'll find what you need to, or fucking one of our mildly tech available people in fucking chat. Throw a link if you know where it is. Um, but like, yeah, that's your if you really want to lock it down, sort of thing. That's not for your everyday browsing though. If you made the habit of that, I'm just saying that's not a that's not the world's worst habit. Uh, let's see. Really? There we go. I've been trying to reinstall Ubuntu for like two weeks. Starting, uh, starting to think I need a new USB drive and hit the library and download a new ISO. All right. Uh, VM plus Honix, uh, Honix, uh, Honix perhaps. Um, I mean, you know, lazy. I, I'm assuming it's not a heavy rig that uh, Withers working with, like broke, broke. So, running the software necessary to run a virtual machine contained within, and then that, honestly, yeah, it's probably easier just to drop a, a uh, drop tails onto a, a USB and boot to the USB drive. Get out of just you know, end of the day. All right, it's just all right. So, I think I need to be more focused here. I think I'm gonna go take yes, I see you over there. Oh, hey, welcome back. Oh, by the way, Kai, I figured out the, the solution to our stamina ills, and it is. Uh, cooking, actually. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I've, you know, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I've got some points here. Like, basically, if you have the right recipes and the right shit floating around in your, in your, in your gut before you engage in combat, yeah, you could just, you could just overlook a lot of that shit, so. One of us is gonna need to be a farmer, and I know who it is, I'm just, you know. Um, there's, um, there's actually a, a whole, like, expansion to that as well. Yeah, One, that's the other thing. I don't know shit about that mod, so. Yeah, that, I don't know either, but, like, yeah, that, dude, there's a whole, like, animal husbandry side of that. But, yeah, uh, point is, uh, keep a lookout for seeds and I'll get the farm going. Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I, yeah, I put those recipes for, like, how to harvest seeds. Um... Yeah, well, we need the plants to begin with, anyway. So okay, yeah. so what plants are we on the uh, lookout for? Um, that potato, just like potatoes, all of them. corn. Yeah, like, I've seen some cornfields around here somewhere. Yeah, corn, potato, the the you know the usual. Yeah, just, I don't remember where I saw them, but I saw them. The point is, like, yeah, like basically, if you want to get over the stamina of like issues, it's gonna just boil down to like, yeah, we just need to cook and cook at a very high level. Um, which also means we need to farm at a high level, so you know, all boils together. Okay, so yeah, increase stamina regen when running. That feels right. That feels right. Um,. Let me hang on. Bam. Yes. Wither. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm looking at my levels. 
uh, one of y'all is going to have to fucking spec into it. Who has points in fortitude? Uh... I, was just I do not. Hold on. I was just in there. I have four points in fortitude. All right. You're our farmer. Fortitude level five lets you max out a uh, living off the land. Okay, so apparently I need to learn those seed recipes. Yes. Um, but yeah, you, you're going to have to take living off the land, because I'm looking at my shit. I just realized I have literally zero points of fortitude on this character. Okay, so, so I'm one okay. point off from getting to level five for fortitude, and then I'll yep. put the point. I'll have to get three more levels and fucking living off the land. Yep. All right, and I then we can just... Uh, I need some easy uh, XP grind. Yeah. If you want to circumvent that, I'd actually recommend coming down into the mine and just you yes. know, chipping away. That's that's what I'm suggesting, is that I need some easy XP grind. Because I gotta tell you, um I we you know, we've done a pretty good job of like murdering a lot of zombies in this area. Yeah. I reckon the next step is like second base sort of territory. Yeah, like that's we're I I there's not a lot of zombies. I say we move over to the desert because that brings oil shale. That is that that's waste. Is that de that's not desert, right? That's wasteland. No, no, it's desert. It is. Yeah, it's still desert. All right. Same as last time. I I if I remember. Um. Yeah. Also, you can build shit to. For easy levels. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm sure. I, I Trust me when I say it is ridiculous the type of XP you can gain from just, like, building shit and upgrading it. So, I don't know. Maybe you build a second horde base. Who knows? I'm not up to fucking date on whatever fucking pathing mechanisms this shit has now. Let's see. Yep, this installer's been running for three days and it's still unstuck and creating the extension for file system in SDA2. Yeah, that's that should happen really quickly, Rev. That's that's something that should just happen. Do we have like a pickaxe or something? I can make one for you. I can make level six pickaxes. All right. Let me just come to the surface once again. Oh, oh. you're in luck. I had duck. I had enough duct tape on me for it. I'm making it. Really zippy. What zippy say? Where did you put it? You put it in VC. Uh, Zippy found the brand. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I remember that from last night. Fascinating, Zippy. Nice. Yeah, that's actually Apparently really Apparently, I am able to craft a uh, chemistry station now. Nice. Oh, fucking sweet. All right, yeah, because thank you. Thank you, Caboose, for stepping up to the plate and being our, our, our doctor. Yeah, um... I still can't craft antibiotics yet, but now I can craft a chemistry station. Here you go, Kai. Uh, oh, never mind. It's still crafting. Well, give it like two and a half minutes and it'll be done. I'm gonna kill somebody that's outside. Oh, hey. Damn it. Good job. Watch out behind you. Mm -hmm. Where did those go? Oh, there they are. Actually, Kai, that would probably be easy XP for you to just expand on the horde base. Seriously, I can't make that until that? Jesus Christ. Fine. Fucking 
27 steel arrowheads here, but Jesus, are they fucking walled? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, we don't actually have the capacity for, like, steel weapons yet. Alright, um... Uh, oh, I do have that. I'm about to make me some bolognese. Nice. Sure you don't want to eat the mayo? No. No, no, no. Oh, it actually, it's used for making a Donner kebab, a uh, noodle salad, and, and potato salad. Which one? Uh, the mayo. It's used in three different recipes. Donner, it's uh, this, the white sauce on the Donner kebab. It's a uh, binder for the noodle salad, whatever, some fucking thing, and potato salad. I know this guy's a German dev, but he has a lot of Russian food stuffs. Jesus Christ. Because there's Black. also Solyanka. Sorry, everyone. What happened? Uh, I wasn't on the fucking game. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I, I've been there. Not that I've been doing anything inter interesting. Um, Just oh, inventory. Here's the... Um, yeah, here's the, it's some hops flour for some beer. <laughs> nice. Cornmeal. Oh, here's some hop seeds. Twenty five seconds until your pickaxe is back. So triple, yeah. Seeds, berries, and vegetables, triple the harvest of wild or planted crops. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Uh, I, I, I come back. Here you go. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, six axe. And, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that one actually got the jump on me. There's a crawler. Fucking golems. Nice. Don't die. While going down. <laughs> yeah, ladders in this game. They're fun. Yeah, don't don't die. Just go fucking down. Jesus you're Christ. You're good, you're good. Just I know, I know. Don't die. I got the I got the door. I'm pretty sure I have a cast and all sorts of shit on me, frankly. Well, you have parkour, so you might actually be able to like just take the fall. Yeah, I've survived some de well, this is pretty far, but I've survived some decent jumps. I've survived the whole way down with um, no levels of parkour. All right, so I don't need this on my bar down here. Whee! All right, what are we doing? Go down. Also, have a good one. Uh, just give me a name. Better man. So fucking just pick a spot. Welcome, welcome to the dark side of fucking seven days to die, everyone. Yeah, it does actually just turn into a Minecraft clone after a while. And unlike before, Cat and I do not have uh, <laughs> the machine guns. We don't have uh, uh, we don't have the augers. The augers sound like machine guns in this game. And if I recall correctly, we had to mod it. Yeah, to make them quieter. Yeah, to shut them the fuck up. <laughs> it didn't even work either. It it still, dude. They were so loud. They were so loud. It was ridiculous. Hmm. You hold that. Yeah, 
death. Some of these, some of these mines get rather big. <laughs> yeah, they do. Also, sometimes you may end up seeing through reality. Uh, when you're operating your base layer in this game, th things get weird sometimes. Um, you just start to see through walls and shit like that. I suppose it's very much like real mining. You spend long enough in the mines, you start seeing crazy shit. So a place that's gonna test your... <laughs> Test how well you have your shit going uh, together, I suppose. Right. It's, it's like it's like caving, except you know, way more dangerous. <laughs> so if the idea of going down into small, dark, tight places and bringing the load-bearing earth down around you and shit like that, you know, with a fucking pickaxe, mind you. Not by some t today modern standards. Like, hey, here's a fucking hole. A shovel, a pickaxe, and we fucking put some braces up occasionally if we're lucky. Good luck. Speaking of which, yeah, I actually have to do that now in seven days. Br you have to brace shit? Yeah. If, if the hole gets big enough, shit will just start collapsing. Now, we're not there yet, but just, you know, pound, keep in mind. Pound, pound coin said, caving. Not even once, motherfucker. And I really wish I had, like, that headlight mod. It'd be real nice right now. Alright. Alright, I got... I put the first point in Gatherer. Love you. Um, next up is Forager. What is that? You can craft seeds for berries and vegetables. 50% chance to harvest one additional crop. Farm plots cost 50% less to craft. And then there's Farmer, which is triple harvest. Space Engineers has the same issue with the basic. It's uh, with its basic hand drill. You get it started the game. Ba uh, nearly every stream for that game runs a sound mod. Um, yeah, dude. There's there's a few games that I don't know what the deal is. Um, there's a sound effect in Zomboid too that I was like, why is that so aggressively loud? Let's see. God, you fucking when it when it you, that moment when you're like which way is up and which way is down yeah yeah it'll get you that's always a fun moment you're just not quite sure you're like okay i need an object for bearing i put up a fucking torch right by me <laughs> like which which way is the torch oriented <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you can. There, um, there actually are mushrooms specifically that need to grow in a cave-like environment. Um, a bathroom, a fucking, you know, a blocked environment works just fine for that. Um, but yeah, you could, um, you could in fact farm mushrooms down here. I think you can farm plants too. But you need, you need like one thing, like one, uh, one block of skylight coming through and it's possible yeah like there's so you need like one whole like literally just the one blocks worth of sunlight yeah like there's yeah that's that's the the trick yeah. there is a uh, wandering horde trying to get to the door of base <laughs> all right well i'll be there let's level sky want to come up or I mean, I have a sprained leg. Y'all got a splint? I do. Okay, thank you. But I'm stuck uh, in the, in the house. Okay, well, I'll make a distraction. Just make sure my guns are reloaded. No, I know. Oh, I had a splint, and I think I gave the last my last one to Caboose one of those times. <laughs> Uh, it's already it's all it's only seven minutes left, so yeah. 
Oh, you know what? I, you know what I could do? I'll just lead him up to the horde base. You make me uh, uh, make me what my my, my mu mutant mushrooms. You big brain. Oh, you still want your aquatic psilocybin to be a thing? Yeah, that's dude. That's a genetic engineering task. Oh, caboose, caboose, fucking run, run to the fucking horde base right now. I need help. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, lead him to the horde base uh, technique worked. It worked. Just you know. It worked a little too well. Uh, <laughs> Just next thing you know, I have night zombies sprinting at me. Oh yeah, it's that time, huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Run, run, there run. Yeah. This pro tip spit, so you know up or down. Yeah, in real life, I have, I have tricks. In, in a video game where the textures start to blend together and bleed together, you're like, I don't, you know. Oh, come on. Oh, there was the guy, guy who died in Nutty Putty Cave who, A, died... B is remembered as the guy who died in Nutty Putty Cave. <laughs> yeah. Mining is fucked up. Caving is fucked up. But mining is psychotically fucked up. Like, old school mining. Like, think back through the fucking millennia. Humans have been mining for a minute, y'all. And we've been doing it some really sketchy ways the whole for basically all of history. <laughs> Usually we think we're clear, cat. All right. There's a few. There's a few stragglers out front of the house. Oh god, they're breaking something. They're probably breaking the spikes. There we go. Oh come on. <clears throat> Give it to me. Yeah. There we go. Kids, we need to like build some shit. Oh, wait, cat still need to splint. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. All right, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Speaking of which, uh, what do you need for the chemistry station? Uh, let's see here. I need a beaker, a hundred forged iron, uh, three cooking pots, thirty short pipe, and five bottles of acid. Uh, appears a splint. It didn't work. Apparently, oh. you can't put that on a sprained ankle. Oh, sprains. Yes. Yeah, spra yeah, you just gotta let sprains heal. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's broken. Fucking. Cast is better. Splints do a good do a good job, but it's broken only. Oh, beaker's easy to make. It's fifty sand, twenty lead, and twenty clay. Yeah. Roxio's playing Zomboid. Good for them. Uh, I've been in a fuckload of mines and caves besides repelling. Rev, that's because you're a good old boy from the fucking from Arkansas, right? Like that's. Dude, that's dude. That part of the world has a lot of cave systems. That's dude. That's caving central. Like that. That part of the country. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm. I'm. 
putting the ingredients in the forge right now to make that beaker for you. Spiders in caves. Burr. Um, ghosts gotta be real, say, says Glazy. Um, we have plenty of pipes and cooking pots, so that's not a big deal. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. There could be a cooking pot shortage tomorrow, and we are going to be able to corner the market. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are going to be. Can, we can the, finally grab Jim by the balls. Yes, we we are going to be the cooking pot kings. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> We're going to own this fucking land based off of our sheer cornering the market of cooking pots. People are going to want a casserole. People are going to want a nice braised chicken. Beaker's rolling, by the way. All righty. Yeah, and the forge. Oops. And I managed. Wow, so I managed to scrounge up just enough acid. Nice. Yeah, I've I've only brought back. I've only seen a few bottles of it. Yeah. Uh, I refuse to believe nothing happens after death. Says Glazy. So ghosts got to be real. You know, mostly down in my that, uh, area. Oh, for the fucking yeah, all the mine ca mine work here, looking for tourmaline and shit with that with pops. Uh, careful cooking in a cave, carbon monoxide, etc. Yeah. Holy shit! So Glazy's, gee, Glazy's, uh, just a believer in the afterlife. That's how that works. I, what, I mean, it does surprise me. I mean, Glazy, I. I I have feelings on the matter. I mean, um, we can't really definitively say. No, I, I just, at the end of the day, like, I, it's, you know, it, it'd be nice. You know, something, like, would be, you know, preferable to nothing. But I mean, give, given the nature of how our consciousness arises, uh, you know, don't don't count on it. See, for me, someone, someone, someone floated the idea that like an after, like there could be a possibility that the afterlife could just be like a really, really bad DMT trip, and that's just your new reality. And ever since then, I've just, I've just kind of resented them for putting that thought in my head. I've, I, I mean, I already, I live in the post version of that. Where, like, I mean, yeah, I kind of had that drug experience. I'm just saying, imagine that being life. No, I know. Like, that's, but that's, you know, having done that sort of like life jump thing before, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. But, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice if there's, I don't know, something. But I want something a little more grand. Like, I don't blame you. Rejoining the galactic consciousness, <laughs> you know? Something. Like, be funny if they were just like nah. becoming becoming one with the universe in some meaningful way. After having to endure the the duty of separation, right? They're, they're, I'd like to, you know, we get some grandeur in it. But oh. Okay, okay. Uh, but personally, I think it's probably more likely just lights out. Okay. I want something something alien to this experience. So I've experienced it. Well, like, you know, that, but permanently. I mean, you know. At heart, I will always have an element of hippie in me. Just, uh drugged out fucking did too many psychedelics dude sitting on the sidelines saying 
I don't know why we can't just like not murder each other, man. Right. <laughs> like I don't get it. <laughs> really, I don't. Like it seems like it shouldn't be that difficult, but like man, we are fucked up. <laughs> God damn it. Continually disappoint me. <laughs> like I, I'm <laughs> with Earth. Uh, embrace the destruction of Nile. Open your eyes to the edgy darkness. Uh, and darkness. Rev said, I'm pretty sure that when you die, your neurons fire at random, which produces a similar effect to LSD. There's also a huge dump of DMT, apparently, into the sp uh, cerebrospinal fluid, potentially. Um, yeah, I've heard about that one as well. Uh, I've come to terms with the lights out scenarios. This is Cupcake, of course. <laughs> proud, rocking the proudly Jew account, by the way. Um, of course, you've come to embrace it. Um, experience is what I, I have to. Experience is what I want, and death seems like the closing of that. Says Weather. Uh, Zippy, it's interesting to read channelers and what they say and where they differ. Some of the overlap often seems like a cultural thing. Weather says, so fuck death. Rev says, my theory is that if ghosts do exist, they're not as powerful as the living since we have whatever kind of spirit they are plus flesh. Uh, Wither said, remember the kids, God sees every, uh, remember kids, God sees every jack off sesh. Um, Very true. Well, I hope he likes what I'm into. <laughs> I hope so as well. <laughs> I mean, he created it. That is true. It's all part of God's grand plan, right? Don't, you know, don't condemn, don't condemn the uh, degenerate amongst you, for God is a degen, apparently. <laughs> the ultimate degen. For without God, there is no degeneracy. There it is. Um, all right. Frame shapes. God would have known about every jack off sesh before it happened. Yep. Does this mean God made me a furry? Yes. Why? Because God likes fucking dude. Even the even the Greeks and Romans are like, dude, occasionally Zeus wants to bang a goat. What are you gonna do? I find it funny how progressive the Greeks were in some aspects back then. Yeah, it, it, it's an on, more honest embracing of some of the baser impulses because they were a little closer to them. Just like, yeah, what? It happens. <laughs> Occasionally, God takes the form of an animal and seduces a young soldier. What are you going to do about it? Oh, oh, wait, the, really? Yes, it's a common thing. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, okay. Um, Alright, now. Oh, god damn it. Man, the chemistry station takes a while to make. Yeah. Yeah, we get to that point where things are just gonna take just a ridiculously long time to craft. Arbitrary wait times, yay! Aren't they great? Okay, so let's do it right here.
Man, it is unnecessarily difficult to up upgrade spike traps. It is. Just for no fucking reason. That hitbox is fucking hard to detect. No, hitting the, the, the spike traps in general is, for some reason, very dodgy. Yeah. And I'm not sure why, but it's not a pleasant experience. No, it is not. Um... Let's see, Glazy, gotta go into a haunted location with a couple of my friends one of these days. Have fun, Glazy. Shared, shared weird experiences are fun. Do shrooms. Sorry, I, what? I would never, ever encourage something like that. But let me tell you, a lot of the great thinkers and the people who really leave a mark on the world tend to have at least one of those experiences in their life. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying that like, you know, it is, it is a common part of humanity to seek to explore that space of the other to the fullest extent one can. Especially in spiritual settings. Yeah. I've been to a couple of haunted areas before and nothing ever fucking happened. Dude, I'm Same here. I've never actually like I don't get the heebie jeebies. Nah. I uh I you know, I've said before, fucking I grew up in the middle of nothing in Vermont, wandering a mountaintop, right? I've never seen fucking Sasquatch. I've like spent the nights out in the desert in, you know, with like Area 51 and shit. You know, I've never seen little grays or anything like that. Like I, I just, I've never seen a chupacabra. <laughs> like never seen ghosts. I was in like, I spent time in like, you know, Southern plantation stuff like in Tennessee. Like, like, nope, no ghosts. You know, I wanted them. I did. Like, give me, give me something interesting. Should you let me peer behind the curtain? Give me something to like hold on to that little bit of like magic. Yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the same boat. For like a good chunk of my life there, when I was like real young, it's just like, yeah, just you know, something. Just give hey, me cat. something. What's up? Watch this. Where are you at? I'm, I'm on top of the. Uh, I'm right in front of you. Yeah. That's right. What um, the? Oh. Yeah. Oh, what? No. I am having another one of these visual glitches where like half the building just fucking disappeared. You just like Here. face the reality, Kai. Nice. Let me just... stream it. Um, hang on. Let me see. I will make this happen. There you go. So this is the horde base. Okay. So. And here's what happens when I try to walk up to it. Yeah, I was gonna say. So those blocks aren't there for you, huh? Yeah. My yeah. game's really fucked up. Even after double checking <laughs> file integrity. <laughs> you poor bastard. You know that you're that, just that, floating to me. Yeah, that brings an interesting question. What the fuck happens with the zombies if they try to attack you while that's going on? I don't know. Well, that'd be hilarious if they get to pass on it, and he fucking they're just they're just like we're we're not letting you off the hook. We're passing through this plane of reality with you, buddy. Um. Uh, Viva. Um, the only mod worth mentioning is better vanilla. So go to seven days to die mods.com or whatever the fuck it is, or just any search engine seven days to die better vanilla first, first link. Yeah. It's yeah. also made by a German dude. So, you know, yeah. Solidarity. There's a, there's a native German, um, like edition of this. 
To me, the uh, sledge turret is also phased through. Oh. Interesting. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I almost died. She did, dude. 33 health. Yep. Couldn't imagine DMT or Salvia. I mean, it's it's not it's not a fun time. It's about as bad as as you'd think. With the Salvia, at least with DMT, it's cool. Ah. It's just for strong of character. That's all. No, nah, Salvia's fucked. You gotta, I don't care what anyone says. You gotta have your wits about you. You're not, you're not changing my mind on this guy. Salvia's fucked. That yeah. shit, that shit. The, go <laughs> the goddess is not a nice girl. She is a bitch. And you just have to learn. Oh, that was the, that was the edge of it. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so that's learning. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I may be building like, um, uh, scaffolding. Uh, just to see if he could like walk around and yeah. be fine. I was I was gonna do like a Michelangelo up in this bitch. Like this is gonna be the Sistine Chapel. And so I was building scaffolding. But my like cross structure wasn't strong enough. Viscos is molding about gun control. It is funny. Oh, is he? Yeah, check memes. Alright, one sec. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> he is. Okay, what's he got? <laughs> um... The most Floridian take he has. Okay. He made this too, didn't he? <laughs> This feels like he made this straight up. I, I could see him making it just in fucking MS Paint. I, a person with no criminal record or dishonorable discharge from military service, just bought this rifle uh, from a gun shop legally. Can you believe that? They just did a background check to see if I had a history of mental illness, criminal record, etc. And when it was all clear and okay, they just gave me a gun just like that. This is why we need gun control. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there are some people like that. No, that's a very real thing. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that. I didn't even know I had that. Oh, it's almost six, by the way, if you want to get another quest. I mean, that's the thing, Mobos. I don't even necessarily disagree with them. Like, those types of people are annoying. It's just like, you know, come on. There we go. Don't spend more than like five minutes of just calling them dumb, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Just, they're dumb fucks. Leave them alone. itself it was the first like weird graphical glitch i got I, I set an invisible box but i smashed it and i replaced it and it came back so no big deal right unlike caboose's form of reality yeah caboose caboose's reality has just completely broke what's the difference between the easy and normal version um, 
easy is like the normal version of the game. The normal version of better vanilla is characters uh, like zombies that would have normally like 50 to 60 HP on the start of the game have like 600. So it's about 10 times harder at the lower levels. You, you, you level, you catch up and you make it tolerable and you start to work with it. Right. But that, that early game is going to, it's going to, it's going to kick you in the ass a couple of times at least. So it'll test you. Yeah. You'll be fine. Worth noting, if you want to have the ease, air quotes, easiest time possible, honestly, I think the best way to go is strength, uh, strength, and uh, uh, what's what's and uh, fortitude build. Like just just get your pummel peak, get your sexual tyrannosaurus, get your fucking your your uh, pain tolerance, and just just run with it. Like, don't, don't fuck with the traitor for a little bit. Just get your levels up, get your fucking melee and, like, health uh, situation oriented, and, you know, just roll with that. Sexual T right. Yeah, it's a, it's a perk in this game. Basically, it lowers the amount of stamina you use per swing. There you go. All right, so it's under strength. Uh, here's sexual Tyrannosaurus, specializing in unleashing a relentless assault of blows, guaranteed to leave your prey slack jawed at your unyielding stamina. First level gets you reduced melee and tool stamina usage by 8%, power attacks by 15, and then it goes up to 15 and 30, but you start to get killing blows granting you stamina. So by the final level, you get tool usage down by 25%, melee and tool usage down by 20%, 50% for power, and killing something gets you 30 stamina. Yes, literally wither. That's, that's, that is the innuendo. Fucking, which I mean, I'm guessing that a Tyrannosaurus, given like you know what we know about dinosaurs, probably would have been a terrible lie. Yes. Also, hello, definitely not FBI. Oh, just we're doing this. Uh, let's see, viscous is his viscous here. So, <laughs> no, he's fucking. If, no, he's just on Discord. Like, <laughs> hey, viscous, want to play? Glazy's here and this dude's here. He can get his ire up about guns and Florida. Dude, that Florida rant was beautiful. <laughs> and I and I fully support it. <laughs> fucking Florida turning Viscos back into a socialist. Dude, it's fucking those that's good memes. T-Rex literally incapable of giving a reach around. And Cassidy said that's my new favorite term, sexual tyrannosaurus. I, I don't I don't I don't blame her. That's a, it's 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 got the punch. Uh, well, invite the boost back to the thing. I have no idea. Uh, invite the boost back to the party. Oh no! What did I miss? Is, uh, oh shit! That's right. Yeah, because I can't see you. I just hear gunshots going off. That stupid fucking... Why doesn't that just do that? How is how is that a difficult... That should just be a setting. That should just be a fucking one bit somewhere stored. Yes or no? Jesus fucking Christ. be like a server setting. Like, do you want squad permanence or some shit like that? Yeah. Um, what else will get this get me? Oh, uh, you know what? I can start. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. How many, how many dukes do you have, Kai? Uh, I don't know. Give me one sec. I'm just in my character sheet. Um, 2,148. Ah, uh, damn. Um, okay, so I can... Yeah. Get up to triathlete. 
and healing factor. You've actually spec'd pretty well in the fucking uh, Fortitude, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I was in it for the, the healing factor and the cardio. So, like, it was just a small diversion over to living off the land. Right. Um, yeah, that will, like, I mean, level five for healing factor is mutant genes uh, from all the radiation. You gain one health every six second, seconds with natural healing, and critical injuries heal twice as fast. That's a solid regen rate. One hit point every six seconds. I can work with that. Fucking, and then the, the cardio is just straight up like sprinting. So it's also on the bikes, right? So stamina regen while you're running. Right. So I only have one point in pain, pain tolerance. That's the actual HP loss. I should pump some into that. What's the masochist level? Oh, Iron Chin. Let's see. Reduce HP loss by 25%. You have no chance to get stunned. Hmm. Interesting. Tyrannosaurus sex. Beast. Uh, a Sig's going to be solid no matter what it is, Rev. Yeah, a 6 hour 45 ACP. Yeah. I mean, I'm not familiar with the particular P uh, P320 model that you're talking about. Um, but here's the thing, Rev. Um, never buy a gun. Look, unless you uh, look. Okay, so you're considering like self defense and like that sort of thing, right? And you're like, oh, I don't. I'm not sure if I really want to buy a gun, but I finally I want to buy a gun, right? You should never buy a gun that you haven't already held in your hand. That's just a straight up. You need to go to a gun shop. Like no one should ever buy a gun that they haven't held. The, it's an intensely personal object and it has to fit correct in your hand. You, you have to, it has to feel right to you and different pe people are different. You'd be surprised. Sometimes, sometimes I, you know, there, I remember a wife and a husband and he liked this little, um, nickel plated compact, uh, like snub nose, uh, uh, th uh, th uh 38, little 38 special compact snub nose and she liked this big honking fucking um 45 and she liked her semi right like that was and you know she's wielding a big ass gun and the husband's got this you know little revolver and he's you know but that's what he felt comfortable with that's what she felt comfortable with that's just you you have to go to a gun store talk to a guy who does it and put it in your hand and see if it feels right after that, it's up to you. Yeah, unless you're unless you're already a gun guy, like if you're if you're in the gun culture, then the conversation around should I buy this gun is a whole different conversation. That's that conversation is then, you know, oh well, that's got you know the trigger release on that is absolutely ridiculous. You're gonna have to probably upgrade your springs. You know, that, that sort of conversation. So, yeah. Gotta just, you gotta hold it. Um, <laughs> your, your comfort, 50 cal. Um, yeah, yeah, Casty reiterating. Yeah, it's about what's comfortable in your hand. Also, yeah, dude, fucking all of it. It's gotta feel good. The, the, the draw distance on the trigger, the kickback on the caliber, and the weight of the gun itself. It's 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 an intensely personal object. You gotta you gotta just go. Go. Good point. My dad did some carpentry for a semi local gun shop owner who's arranged too. I should see if he offers training courses. I'm not buying shit before some training. Good on you, Rev. Um way it should be. I mean, it was a bit of a racket, but we wouldn't we wouldn't let you on we wouldn't let you past anything without a training certificate. It was just a part of our process. Uh, as a safety tra uh, safety certificate, you had to do at least one safety uh, one uh, set of safety classes. Now, did we have capital? Uh, did we have financial incentive <laughs> to do that as well? Yes, we did. 
But at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> hopefully a couple of less idiots with a gun. Yeah. There we go. All right. Get back up. There we go. Pretty uninvadable, uninvadable uh, country, huh? Everyone's guns. It's the ammunition supplies that are the biggest issue, Glazy. But um, you know, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit, sit here and say fucking America is super invadable. We're fucking you shit. Me, we'd be the most honorary fucking occupied country ever. <laughs> like, if you gave us a legitimate target, are you shitting me? Fucking dude, there's a lot of Americans that'd be like, they they straight. I've been waiting for this day my entire life. I get to shoot. Insert group here. <laughs> they'd be down, just fucking rolling in the streets, fucking rolling coal, fucking just shooting their AR out the fucking window. There are dudes in this country that would be down for that. Which is. Which is, by the way, makes the cops all the much sadder in fucking Texas. <laughs> it's like, what would you do, Rambo? Well, there's actually a fair amount of Americans, I think, that might have charged straight up in there. I mean, there's militiamen in this fucking country. <laughs> I think, I think They're all a bunch of racist nut jobs, and they probably would have been swearing, you know, throwing obscenities at the students that they're saving. But they would have saved them students. <laughs> they would have fucking they would they would have put the fucking shooter down. That's that's, that's for damn sure. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. They would have put him down. Like, I, look, I don't know whether they would have shot some fucking kids in the process or not. But all I can say is like, you know, the math might balance out in the end at this rate. Like I used to be scared about China, Glazy says, but nah. <laughs> Blasting Kid you know, Rock. Those fuckers, are, those fuckers are done. But China's gonna collapse within our lifetimes, Glazy. Blasting Kid Rock on overpowered subs, <laughs> says Rev. Yeah. You know it, son. <laughs> oh. Fucking. Yeah, no, that's. Dude, I would have thought, like, it, the Russian thing is weird, but, like, I, I honestly, I would have thought, like, my go to years ago like fucking caboose no is was there for this shit like the the russo phobia thing was strong still well into the 90s like russia yeah. russians were still bad guys in movies <laughs> now like for all of the boomers all those jingoistic boomer movies that everybody thinks of now that you're like you know Good guy American in military setting here. Fighting. Insert bad Russian accent here. You know, it, it was all that sort of stuff. And But that shit turned on a dime with Fox News and Trump. Just in an instant went away. Okay, FBI, I get that's part of the act, but like, nah. The last thing this fucking state needs is more ways to surveil its populace. What would you, I, I, I'm curious, what would you, what would you upgrade? What would you change? What do you want? What powers of surveillance do you want that, um, you d that don't, they don't already possess? I mean, they have com complete control of the data stream at this point. Ah, there's some. Do you want like encryption backdoors and stuff like that? Are you one of these fucking weirdos? All right, I think this is pretty mined out, actually. All right. Yeah, now you just make a new strip and just fucking, you know. Oh, that fell. Oh, that fell. I'm falling. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, is the coffee that allows you to do that much damage? Um, it's a combination of things that actually allow to do damage. It's one, it's a high level axe uh, or pickaxe here. Um, 
two, it's, yeah, I got a couple points in, um, fuck it, I think I did. Ooh, I'm hungry, I think, yes. Uh, yeah, I threw a point in minor six or niner as well. Um, but also, yes, I was using blackstrap coffee on top of all of that. Alright, so let's repair some shit here. Alright. Oh, hey, there we go. There's, there it is. I can show everybody. There you go. There's, that's God what, damn. that's what happens. You can just, you can just sort of see through reality occasionally when you're working at base level. There's the tunnel. You can see the tunnel all the way through there. And then just nothingness. And then weird grass texture. You got your answer, by the way. We need more intelligence centers through the country to bridge the gaps between police departments. We need mandatory mandatory reporting of all police interactions to a center system. Increase camera through our national highway system. You want China. You want China. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to say no. Just no. <laughs> I, I, one, I don't need it to be that safe. Two, <laughs> that, that's a cost benefit analysis. You're like, I, I am promising this level of safety if you give me this amount of power. Yeah, I don't need it to be that safe. You got a lower plan? What you got? You got something along the like fire department level? I'll take, I'll take a fire department level. You got, you got a plan for that one? Because I'll take that. Cause uh, I'm I'm good, homie. Uh, uh, the the government that shows that it will turn on a fucking dime, and just absolutely turn its back on its citizens, kill them directly, and or let them die of neglect. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, I don't trust these fuckers with any power, let alone that kind of power. <laughs> they shouldn't have the death penalty already. That's insane. They the state should not have power over life or death. That is not a power they should have. And you know what? That's not the kind of power they should have either. That is full restriction of uh, freedom of movement at that point. You know they can apply pressures. You know they will. There will be abuses. They will be journalists. They will be whistleblowers. All of this will happen. No. Just no. <laughs> For so many reasons, no. Like, you can just... Hang on to your full grid fucking bullshit. Also, Swift, if you want in on the game, just join the Discord. Kyle will hook you up with the mods. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fucking, you got to jump on the Discord, and then yeah. Um. Go, uh, if you know where to get mods, seven days to die mods .com, I think, or something. Um. Either way, just type better vanilla. In, um, here, you know what? Fuck it. I'm safe. Let's do this. Um, okay. I will. It is seven days to die mods.com. All right. So you got to join the discord and then I will have these in, um, in discord for you. Where's the fucking, ah, there it is. All right, uh, and copy link. Cool. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, I found just the straight up desert. Oh, nice. Yes, there's the desert. Well, there you go. Take that down. Uh, there's Swift. Um, and yes, we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Swift has not passed the welcome check yet. FBI, yeah, you don't. I don't think you understand the type of political capital it would take to even implement like the type of infrastructural mm -hmm. upgrades that we need. 
for that to even be possible in the first place. Like, ethical considerations aside, like, that's just, like, a fundamental restructuring of American society that we are just not in a position for. Yeah, I need torches. Oh, hey, there's a... All right, other way. Yeah, um, when you go to the gaming channel, once you've passed the welcome screen, which, by the way, is a, kind of a thing we judge you by. Um, uh, once you're past the welcome screen, um, go to the gaming channel, and there's a link to Better Vanilla in there. Somebody put it in chat. And also, there's a link to a zip file that has the other two mods that we're running installed. And if you need help modding the game, we can do that. All right. Um, I got stuff. Ooh, look at those. Cement. Oh, um, I just need you guys to know that we now have 15 cooking pots. Holy shit, dude. I just added three to the collection. Good God, what the fuck? We, uh, we are going to corner the fucking market. It's going to be great. I wonder how much we could sell those for. Did I just... Am I fucking... I did... I just accidentally pressed A instead of D on rotting flesh. Oh. I just ate rotting flesh. Well, enjoy the dysentery. Yeah, it's the beginning of the end. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's dysentery that you get, which I have stuff for that. Yeah, we have like all the stuff for that. No, I have pure mineral mineral water, which uh, does twenty percent cure dysentery. Yeah. Cool. For fuck's sake. So rude. So rude. You know, you're trying to trying to sort your inventory and she just you know absolutely would not leave me alone oh hey are we still in need of a grill no, we can craft those in the forge now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I need that. Let me carry some of that on me, actually. Oh. Um, in fact, I'm sorry, guys. I just need you to know that, in fact, we have 18 cooking pots. God. Ain't that great? We have 18 cooking pots. So, in case you, you need a cooking pot, we have a couple. Man, this pot's got a hard on for them. The RNG on that has just settled at something. Holy shit. What? I can buy a fucking a, a motorcycle for 25k. Yeah, it sounds feels about right. Yep. 
And I can get a gyrocopter for 127k. Um, alright. Shotgun auto turret for 6k. I was disappointed. The turrets are like, you can only upgrade it to a point where you, you upgrade the distance and then you can have two in your radius, uh, in your sphere that like uh, uh, operate because you're near them. I'm like, you can't really, you know, I'm like, God, I wanted more than that. But yeah, hey. that's that's fully upgraded. You said you needed a shot. You, need, you said you needed a shotgun parts, right? Yes. How many? A f I, one. All right, there's one. I just bought it. I just bought it from the trader. I mean, I'll be uh, quadruple check here. I mean, there's three, oh no, so. no, no, there's three. Yeah. Uh, to get all of them because no, we're up to fucking. <laughs> I, I need twelve. All right. Because it's a level five shotgun. All right, I got you. Um. So, whatever they got, we still won't have enough. Um, <laughs> we're going to corner the market. Let's see. Be nice, it's Friday, and sobriety is optional. <laughs> um, fucking, I'd be more swayable on this if there was uh, transparently handled by communities instead of a federal government. But are you open to it? Meh. I have immediate reservations, but if it was handled properly, I'd considered it. Might help with Amber Alerts. Uh, what are your thoughts on Starlink? Not the company, but the service. Yeah, I, I have to agree with Aspen. It's a little bit of an overreach in the way they're rolling it out. It's sky debris. <laughs> um, they're already fucking up the skyline, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. It's a good idea in principle. I like it. I like the idea of, you know, having a global network that is, like, democratized that everybody ha can access, like, at any point on the globe. I like that idea. That's a good idea. But I don't think that's the method to implement it. Feels like that's a great thing to do. Alright. Uh, there we go. And boil in some water. Um, uh, where do you want them shotgun parts? I just drop them. Thank you. Well, two more. Yeah, it is screwing up the telescopes. Uh, yeah, and no, it is. Yeah, it's 42,000 satellites have to be replaced every five years. It's a, it's a resource waste. I mean, just fundamentally, it's a resource waste. It's not, a, stranger it's in not the way to do it. I've got what you're looking for. Oh, this is the best way to... This is dangerous work. But uh -huh, sure it is. You can handle it.
I got a night mission for whoever wants to tag along with that. How far away? Eh, about 1.5 kilometers. But that's not until night, so, no. Keep busy until I got then. a fetch and clear 177 meters away from me. It's right in front of the fucking uh, tier 2 fetch and clear. Um, All right. right in front of fucking Jen's place, basically. Uh, here, let me kick it over. Yeah. That's... That way I can still get XP and loot. Um, and throw me yours. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. go okay all right damn it what happened what happened a uh, zombie horde inside of a house no oh, and it just they just got you yeah that'll do it yep. I think that's you Viva Uh, Viva may be coming in. Nice. Viva, you gonna get on the air? Okay. Well, j jump, jump in voice chat and we'll see you there. Okay. It's not even really pink. It's more lilac. Yeah. Kind of funny, I could tell between the two though. I still have some gay in me. Oh, that is funny. You were swinging your shovel like it was a pickaxe. Oh, lovely. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Hello, Viva. Morning. Yeah. We're like, you know, 9 o'clock at night, but hey. He's as loud as I can make him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, I can speak louder. Don't okay. worry. Better? Yep. I'm just a very quiet person. It's okay. Yes. So how's uh, your side of the world uh, still alive? Still ticking? More or less, yeah. Some would say so. Not over yet. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, there isn't. Oh well. Wait, where am I? What am I missing here? Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Interesting. All right. Supplies are around here somewhere. Um, oh, there they are. I got them. Oh, uh, uh, there's. It's two separate. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to get got. Ooh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I need to run. Run, run. Come on. I'm literally like one hit. I got him. Um, okay. So. Why is like. Here, apparently. Now we need to start mass producing bandages. Yeah, that's physician stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Working on it. I'm just saying, like, you know, because like it's nice to have just like a health pool that you can right. dip into, you know. Uh, if we can start growing some aloe vera. We have aloe seeds. Yes, I know. So if start growing some of the aloe vera. I can start making some bandages. Sweet. All right. Oh, Kai's here with me, leveling up. So where the f 
fuck is this stupid fucking thing? Alright, it feels like it's on the outside of this fucking building. Homie, 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 you need to step off. That's just you running up on me like this, Johnny? This isn't this isn't how we work, Johnny. You know better than that. Mm, can you invite me to the party so I at least see how far you are? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. My apologies for not doing it sooner. No, sorry. I... Uh, no, no, no. We're having a Canadian off. I'm apologizing. You're apologizing. Everybody's apologizing. Alright. I'm sorry for apologizing. <laughs> It was in the floor. It was in the floor. Jesus Christ, Kai. Um, what is that? Oh, that is fucking glitchy. What? Fucking uh, the last zombie just spawned before my eyes. Just popped into existence. Yeah, I've had that happen before. It's... Fucking, I've had it happen behind me, I think, but I've seen it in front of me, so... He also fucking fell off the roof, so if you see him down there... Oh, I just came up. What's up, homie? Just, uh, yeah, James, James, your tour duty's over, man. Your tour duty's over. It's okay, man, you can sit down. That gave me another level. Cool. Clear. Nice. All right, let's head back and get our rewards. Um. Yeah, no, I just, you know, no, I'm not handing over that level of surveillance to anybody. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm still in that, like, yeah, I, would, I just wouldn't. And it's not, it's, I mean... I just wouldn't, and it's not really even possible in America, because the type of infrastructure that would take. Fuck that. You, 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 you know, good luck trying to convince the Republicans to fucking sign off on some shit like that. Um, I have some something. I have gold or silver nuggets or something like that. Where are they? I got a hunting knife if you want it. Yeah. Uh, what level? The two. Um. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Yeah. Boos, how about you? Thank you so uh, much. I have a level three. Come again. All right. Well, Viva. If you want a hunting know. knife, if you want a hunting knife, that's like for skinning animals and shit. It's all yours. I, I take whatever yeah, I can. Get of course now. they would, public. Yeah. There's, there's no way I'm fucking handing over that kind of. Oh, want to know a strange and scary fact about Texas? I mean, what's good? Texas. Oh. The fuck? Definitely not a, F a FBI says. Uh, they want to know a strange and scary fact about Texas. Sure. That's good. Shoot. What you got? Other than, you know, Texas. The whole thing is kind of strange and scary, frankly. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I thought. The horde of zombies that were ch that killed me in that house mm -hmm. all got themselves killed on the only trap in the house. Solid. Texas, feels about right. Texas leads the nation in unsolved highway homicide, almost three times the national average. That doesn't really surprise me. Places are shithole. Feels about right for the place. It's I'm gonna make a parts. I'm gonna make a parts uh, chest, like just for weapons parts and all that shit. Um. Oh yeah. All right. Give me that. Never hitchhiked through Texas. Got it. Yeah, that's pretty much how I took that. Didn't really have much reason to do so anyways. There's a zombie outside. Do you want to deal with that? I, know, I was just looking at farm plots. Thank you.
Oh, Caboose, there's a level 5 hunting rifle. Just hanging around. Where? Like, just inside the, the unmarked box. Was that me? That might have been me. I don't know. I think I put some guns away. Either way, Caboose, if, if you want that, that's, yeah. that's just there. Sure, I'll take it when I get back. Um, speaking of which, Viva, what's your what's your favorite weapon type? What what's your what's your speed? Um, you do pistols, you do magnums, you do fucking sniper shotties. What's your you know? I, I'm happy if it goes boom. Well, yes, but like we we have specific booms laying around, so you know, narrow it down. Like a I said, in my opinion, I take whatever I can get. Fair enough. We'll figure it out. <sighs> exactly. Now oh. probably a shotgun or something. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm getting a lot of, like, shock... Yeah, I have a lot of sh You know what? Actually, I'll give you my shotgun. I never use it. It's a level 6 pipe shotgun. Yeah. So, yeah. You just take that, take... I got, like, 120 shot, like, shells on me, so... Okay, there we go. I'm making a mods chest as well. Yeah, because it, it this this storage situation is kind of getting on my nerves too. So I'm gonna just so what removing need? the mods to one chest, removing all the you know Running. bullshit. Okay, Let's see if we have enough. What you, how much you want to grow and what you want to scale to. Also, where were those seeds or recipes? The aloe. Or, um, yeah. Um, corn seeds. Take them. We're going to start needing um, zombie, the, the rotten flesh. I have like... Oh shit, I only got like 21 on me. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll keep an eye out. Um, I'll take the 20 that you have. Yeah. Alright. Let's get it down to... I could have sworn that we have more. Nope, we have... Um, in total... We now have, because I took what was in the box, we have 68. Well, Horde Knight's coming soon, so... Um... Okay. Okay, so... I can make 13 plots right now. That's a good start. That'll get, that'll get a harvest going. We don't actually have a whole lot of seeds for anything. Yeah. So we have one potato seed that, if I have, am correct here, yes, yes, I will be able to harvest triple. So I'll get three from the ones. Um, okay, so we have a potato seed, and we have three corn seeds, and we have one mushroom spore, which I think I can just plant in the mine. Um, but that's all we have, so let's see. One, make it a weapons box. One aloe vera seed requires five leaves. We need five aloe vera leaves to get one seed. Is the treehouse uh, looking thing yours? No. Is it treehouse? Uh, no, no. We have like just like commie blocks. 
Yeah, you're like, like we're we're living in like just a big ass like yeah, concrete like stone. Yeah, you're still you're still three hundred meters out from where we are. Yes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So I thought maybe you were just hunting something. Right. By the way, Viva, you're in luck. Uh, it turns out we have like a bunch of spare machine guns lying around. So, you know, <clears throat> oh, machine nice. gun, shotgun. You're kind of spoiled for choice, actually. Not much ammo though. <laughs> Yeah, the ammo is pretty scarce. As soon as we can get a good supply of coal, that's going to change. Uh, yeah. All right. <coughs> I think. Hey there, Viva. Hey, also, I am counting uh, throwables as ammo, so just like, you know, if you got Molotovs and shit, put them in the ammo box. Or the weapons. I mean, like, you know, not really that big of a deal either way, it just... That really is a combi block, huh? It, it dude. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I fucking I was I told you it was a comedy block. There I wasn't just saying that for shits and giggles. Now, can I? I think it might work in here. Okay. Jesus Christ! Look at this fucking nightmare of a character. Holy what the fuck? fuck? Jesus Christ! What Viva, why? I didn't choose anything. Oh Jesus! Caboose, you got I... competition here. Wow. I didn't even know how my character looked till now. Oh my god. Beef a G. <laughs> that is terrifying. Um, you like not even like... bother with the customization? Please put on some fucking clothes. Holy shit. Yeah, sorry. I will. <laughs> Man, guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm making around. torches in an attempt to kill it with fire, too. <laughs> the bat didn't seem to work. I was resorting to fire next. Yeah, Viva, put a do your beginner quests and then put your bedroll inside the commie block. Yeah, I have... Oh, hey, cat, do you want a you you want a chemistry station schematic? Uh, nah. I was actually thinking of putting a level in position because I want to be able to make bandages. <clears throat> oh, has didn't has not make his full lap because it wasn't on him. There we go. Does my character make this game now, uh, this stream now, uh, and not safe for work? No, you're fine. That is just terrifying. So yeah, put your bedroll down here. We're all sleeping together. Just, just four guys, all, all together. No big deal. Yeah, no. Where you know, we're just, we're, it's just a, you know, efficient. Let's us share body heat. It won't, it won't die. I'm trying to kill the fire. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Saviva, so uh, labeled storage, weapons, ammo, yeah. help yourself. I mean, Kai, I, I already... I think it's already burnt. Yeah, I wanted to say that. It's, I look already like I'm... I got that behind me. It was yeah, worth, it's about as crispy as it's gonna get. It was worth a try. Um, also, I'm making a food box, because, you know. Okay, I'm putting the, uh, the fucking plots uh. in, uh, the, the stuff, too. I put four block. All we have is four seeds. We have three corn and one potato. Um, so I put four blocks on top of the the tower. Look, the vultures may get them, but if I put them anywhere else, you know, if I put a fucking lump, whatever, they're going up there for now. We don't have to. Do we have to fucking water them in this game? I don't remember. I don't think so. Right? No, no. They just. They just. Stay up. Yeah, they've got sunlight. They're good. Yeah. I just expect everything to be zomboid now. It's like, wait, I, that feels wrong. <laughs> I, I that, that planter was Your muscle memory is just a little off, and it, it's like what? Yeah, that, that Something... planter was too easy to build, and it feels like I need to do other things. <laughs> Fertilize, <laughs> fucking, you know, yeah. Vultures don't eat oh, plants. Have, oh, Kai, there's a farm bundle inside the Wait, cookables. 
in this game. Should... Uh, yeah, take a, take a look inside. Uh, once I'm done in here, just, you know, pop in there, take a look. Uh, just give me a second. Putting away all the cookables. Uh, I don't have cotton on me. Uh, all right, take a look inside the cookables. What? what? I. Yeah, farm bundle. Open that up and see what's in inside. Hmm. And a bun food bundle. Um, let's see. That gave us three more seeds. Uh, one super corn, one pumpkin, and one hop. Nice. Well, it's a start, I guess. Um, let me, uh, go do three more blocks. And then we're going to have to figure out some secure location to put our farm. If we're going to start, like, larger farming... We need some larger, I mean, secure location to do it. I mean, honestly, I, you know, like if you need the levels, you should build it. Because, you know, that's just XP on the table. I've, I've taken my fair share of just building XP. Um, um, do you still want to hit that? Do you still want to hit that? Uh, the, the, my, my quest? The yeah. fucking, the night, uh, restore night, power? Nighttime, whatever. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we should probably start bar biking there now if we're going to hit it. Okay, one sec. I am literally just planting these seeds. All right. Actually, let me grill some meat before we get going. Oh. Eee. Parkour. Parkour! Let's see. You want me to make you some coffee? Yeah, I'll take some. Yeah, because I'm just sitting here. Yeah. Let's see, I could probably use to carry some fucking food. Oh, I don't need those ready to eat on me, though. Alright, there's ten coffees cooking there. And the in the one on the left. And there's grilled uh, steak on the right. Okay, so... Don't... Don't... Appalachian Mountains. That's where. What about him? Ah, fucking a conversation between Rev and FBI. Ah, okay. Who is definitely FBI. <laughs> our FBI agent, the secret ha uh, hidden character of this of, uh, of our story, has finally made themselves known. Yeah, right? Um, Alright. I'm gonna start biking. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Yeah, I don't need that much. Where's my bike? Where's my I wonder bike? how pathetically easy the, the vanilla game would feel right now if we just switched over. Pretty easy. Yeah. missions just ah yeah yeah get those done and then you know just start taking quests and yeah 
Honestly, if you want to make some easy XP, best bet would probably just be to head into the mine and just, you know, spend a few days in there. Or just wander into the wasteland. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, either way, like, XP is easy to come by. Nah, yeah, that sounds like a death sentence. I mean, it, okay, look. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you straight. You're gonna fucking die with this mod active. Yeah, I like mean... Like, that, that beginning, those few begin, like, that first, like, 20 levels just sucks. It's, it's, killing a zombie is gonna be an arduous task. Yeah. You definitely would nonsense. Um, dude, there we go. Jesus Christ. Um, unrealistic woodland biking, totally unplayable. <laughs> New challenge: show Angle as a picture with the word uh, Oaxaca and ask him to read it aloud. The results will be most amusing. Nonsense. Yeah. Yep. He's fucking reeing at me now. Jesus Christ. The dude literally rees at you. That is funny. It's a pale little dude that crawls around on his hands, feet, and hands, barely communicable, and just rees at you. I think they might have put a four channer in the game. Uh, and failed to get into the gay bar because it was packed and the club was drug checking, so we left. Uh, night was fun, but disappointing because the goal was to club, says Karina. Sorry, Karina. Yeah. I Fuck mean, a nightclub that actually drug checks, though. Why did you leave because of the drug check? What were you carrying? Seeing as you were clubbing. It's probably high. Well, I mean, who cares about that? It's Canada, isn't it legal? I know, That's right. what I'm fucking saying. Like, fuck a nightclub that drug checks. Oh, it's the one across the street. Just, just like, make sure, just, you know, just, like, make sure I don't got any fucking, like, I, I don't know, like, what? It's, it's, like, oh, it's the same one. Dude, cat, it's the same mission. Ain't that some shit. Yeah, it's the same mission. All right, well. Yeah. Oh, shit, I completely forgot about him. Well, if he still wants to know, if he still wants to get the mods set up and shit. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, just... Jesus Christ. Um, fucking, hang on. Would oh, you... you had shrooms on you? Oh, well, yeah, that's. Um, we're probably winding down. Like, we're probably only going to do one or yeah. two, one, uh, this, like, next quest set. Like, I figure after Kat and I finish this quest, we'll probably call it and then lead into Bad Movie Night. So, Yeah. It's still considered an illicit sub substance. That's fucking stupid. Whatever. Um, I hate it. I hate how oh, shit, like a bear den. based and unbased Canada can be. A bear den. Um, if oh, if the spawns are still the same, like you know, there should be zombie bears in there. Good fucking luck, Kai. I'm not following you into that shit. Alright. Alright, fuck it. Let's do this. Hold on, I'm taking vitamins. I deal with the boar. 100% unplayable. I did not have to remove this broken glass from this window. I hated that mechanic in Zomboid. I think it's great. Stuff like that it makes me love the game. John, well, I hated how it was a dice roll, no matter how what, like unless you were like holding a weapon or some shit. 
John from Miniature Nerd finally played uh, Zomboid. He did it on a four and a half hour live live stream, and I, I was like, dude, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I love John, but you know, if I fucking I know Zomboid now, and I know how many times this dude's gonna die. <laughs> like he's gonna, this game's gonna work him. <laughs> and, <laughs> Fucking up to there, like he's like, I think it's going great. And I'm like, it's not, John. It's not you. You're and you're dead. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. No, I bandaged that bite. I'm fine. No, see, it doesn't say infected. He's gonna learn that one the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> it was rough to watch. Kind of hard to remember just how fucking horrifically unapproachable that game is. And and he insists on playing with a controller because he's infamously oh. John plays with a controller. He's it's kind of what he's famous for. And so like yeah, like he's he's insisting on playing with a controller and they're asking chat for help. And I'm not kidding you, out of like several thousand people watching the live stream, one person responded with something that wasn't a keyboard command like knowing that he like they're like yeah no you get the keyboard command man i'm not helping you i'm not enabling this yeah i wouldn't be able to either oh my fucking god there's two of them yes it's... there's always two of them all right so what's the plan Oh, the plan is usually lead them outside if you can, but like if they're not getting oh, you can out of shoot the cages, them through it. see this is the thing. Like sometimes they're already out of the cages. This is super advantageous. Well, and this is oh Jesus! Oh, he got out. Oh. He's dead. See, wasn't that bad? And this is good too because this gives us the, the the zombie meat that we need. Oh come on! I switched tools. Stop that. There we go. That happens to me too. Fucking annoying. Yeah, There's that chat pad me. attachments for most newer controllers, if I recall. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't... Look, I love John to death. He is my favorite YouTuber. He is my favorite game streamer. I, I love the dude. I've been watching him for years and years and years and years. Um, but I will not enable his gamepad addiction. Look, there's a time and a place for a controller. That's fine. Zomboid is not it. And I say this full well knowing my favorite looting partner <laughs> in Zomboid, uh, Absurd Buddhist, uses a controller. I I didn't know that about Buddhist. Buddhist uses a controller. He keeps a key he keeps a keyboard nearby just in case. But like, yeah. This is what happens when you grow up playing console. Yeah, I'm like, dude. I can't. I can't accept this. Zombie meat sounds unsanitary. It is. It'll give you dysentery. I like how you can just tag team zombies like that. Game's starting to get laggy. Not for me. Um, let's see. How long until this counts as night? It's 2200. Okay. I'm thinking we may okay, actually... Fuck the hell. Zombies are really hard to kill. Yes. No, for real. Like, that's why we were so gung-ho about getting you a weapon. It's just like, yeah, you just need it. You just fuck it. You just need it. You're the bottom of the food chain right now, my friend. Yeah. We're not. We're fighting for our slot in the food chain, but I mean, it's still a fight from time to time. It happens. These days, it's mostly shit like infection that gets us, but I think we've passed that one finally. Yeah. Once, once, uh, fucking, once bit. Caboose gets like the the medical shit like really going and we can just craft antibiotics, we'll be fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, I failed the fucking mission. Shh. 
How? What'd you do? I moved too far away. Yep. Gotta stay in the I'll rain. I'll do it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Apparently it takes an old sham sandwich to make an antibiotic. Yes. Yes, this is why I'm hoarding them. Yeah, uh, whenever I find them, I, I bring them back. They're not Okay, super so common. blueberry mushroom yeah. chrysanthemum is the herbal antibiotics. You should get a PS2 USB adapter and use the Wu-Tang Clan <laughs> controller. Jesus Christ. Uh, dude, it was it was fucking rough watching fucking John Boy play Zomboy. I'm just like, dude. Uh, he's yeah, that's he, a game that'll, that'll just kick you in the dick over was, and over again. He was sprinting everywhere. Nope. Uh, yeah. He, um, his build was an unemployed person with the typical fitness and strength, and he kept specking into inconspicuous and graceful. I mean, that's not bad. It's just, that's kind of advanced. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it fucking, he'd then spend several days in the starting house. Like, two days in the starting house. It's like, dude, get, you, get you, get move your fucking ass, man. Like at one point, he had a map. Uh, he had his, he found the map for the local area, and he opens the map. And Claire, his partner, and you know, she she helps him work the live streams. Um, says, why don't you go over there to like where this, the the it was uh, West Point, so the commercial district on the the right hand side of the map. And he, he's like, oh my God, no, I mean, maybe if we had a car, but no, I'm like, dude, you should just be walking there already. Like you should be poking at that edge of it at least to see what's up. Like just get your ass moving. Yeah, no, he was, he was literally playing the game just wrong and it's just, it's just painful to sit there and you're just like, oh man, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. And you know, every time he felt confident. It was like, mm, here we go. Every time he was so confident, he died. Yes. Yeah, cause that's that's what Zomboid does. Uh, hey, Bobby. Yeah, this is Seven Days to Die. Three, two. Did did the timer just stop? Okay. One. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right, let's do this. Fuck you. God damn it. That just did not go well. Yeah, I'm I just sprained your leg. Make plaster cast now. Nice. Fucking zombie hit me. And a key ingredient in the plaster cast is cornmeal. Fucking what? Yeah, cornmeal. Cloth fragment, cornmeal, crushed sand, and murky water. Why I got the mail, Kai. Oh, fuck. I made it. I tried to guard you. Yeah, no, 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 no. It was it was down to the, the fucking wire. Yes. But, I mean, I took a hit, but fucking, I got it. Done. So now we just have to do a clear. Let's see if uh No but you have the other generator to worry about. Oh yeah. Alright, we'll see if that does anything. <coughs> You're sleeping on the shelf, you weirdo. See you running. I love it when their head just explodes before you have to really do any damage. Yeah, for a first swing crit is always nice. Uh, 
to see that stuff over there. Let's get this going. Oh, there's a lot. And it's going. Hey, I need help. Yeah, well. Alright, and the place is cleared now. So, job done. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What happened? Oh, it's Viva that's here. Sorry? Uh, there is... <laughs> and then I like how Viva just inspires oh, right. <laughs> oh, that's with us? A feral Peter. Oh god, they're so obnoxious. There yeah, they're the worst. We got him. God fucking. Alright. What was that? Oh, I got three rocket launcher parts. Uh, I didn't get shit. I got a uh, steel tool parts, fucking an improved fittings mod. Oh, motor Even tool the large mod. On its own. Large tank mod. Alright. Well, let's get back home and then we can, you know. Yeah. Um, for a sec here. Modify. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that is a bit of a game changer. What happened? Um, there we go. Oh, I just found a helmet light. Oh. Yeah, for mining, that's fucking huge. Alright. Who has rum, says Kvaz. Uh, I think we have I think we have some sort of alcohol in this game. It's I think it's like whiskey. Something like that. Uh oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. Bobby's neck, back, and legs are all screaming in pain. No, that feeling. Oh, it could be just chronic, but I, I do. I have a sneaking suspicion it is just chronic pain. But uh, what happened, Bobby? I was watching a. Um, it may have been a vice. Uh, piece on uh... Uh, just standing <laughs> Jesus yep long day standing on concrete for a concert that's rough at this uh, fucking the queen huntress I forget Nigeria I want to say Nigeria she uh, this woman just like they have a real kidnapping problem so, and the government's just, you know, <laughs> doing, doing what they typically do, stealing the money, not doing what they need to do. Right. Like that's just par for the course. Um, and so, yeah, this woman's like her father and her grandfather were like hunters, like tribal hunters. And her father always wanted her to be a, a huntress. And now she hunts, um, she hunts she hunts man straight up like that's what she does she and her crew specialize in hunting down, tracking down um kidnappers and uh boko haram operates a lot as kidnappers in that part of the world so she's, she's out there fucking dude she's she's ruthless I, I saw, like, they had clips of her fucking, one of her, um, like, interrogations with somebody. She's like, you show no mercy to your, uh, to your victims, we will show no mercy to you. Like, okay. <laughs> she, like, straight I'm up. I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, she straight up lays it out for him, like, right out of the gate, like, this is what it's going to be like. Do you want to cooperate or not? Uh... Let's see, cross this bridge, then the other side. Oh, nice nice placement of the chemistry station. I figured that just seemed like the most logical place to put it. Not to mention, like, 25,000 steps and lots of heavy lifting. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Yeah, you're going to hurt, man. You're going to hurt. 
There are people outside. Oh no! Oh god! I'm putting hits out, but you know. Hey, shared XP. Any more? No, that was all of them. <laughs> Bacardi is Listerine with extra steps. Uh, true. Listerine started as floor cleaner. I, I still see this as true. Yeah. That's what their brand originally was. Floor cleaner. Some weak ass floor cleaner then. No, but it's probably cheaper to just mix it with water and sell it as a mouthwash. I got people. I love how we've all just specced into the same strength build. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> specced into strength. Well, me and Kai. <laughs> we're, we're the only people here. <laughs> Fair enough. Wait, what does this nightmare character look like now? Hang on. Let's tell you full freaking nature. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry for existing. At least, there's, <laughs> at least there's like human clothes on this fucking demon spawn now. We need to. We, you know, you know what we need to do. We need to like get him like a straight up like like a trench coat and everything, and just like a hood. And, and it's just like you try to stare and see if there's any skin you can spot, and it's just the, shadow. Yeah, the full uh, the full bandana face mask and everything. Yeah. yeah, we'll just cover up as much of this fucking nightmare as possible and you just look at it, you're like, wait a second. I see a darkness. An all encompassing darkness. I didn't get the option. I didn't even get the option to make this character. You know what? I'm glad that it happened either way. Yeah. No. Um, I, don't... I have a couple of treasure maps. Are they worth anything? Uh, I have like, there's like six of them actually hanging Dude, around the base. I fucking fucking treasure. You gotta you gotta lock pick your treasure open. Yeah, like you need to you need to invest in lock picking. Otherwise, you're just doing a goose chase for no reason. Fucking absolutely ridiculous. I just deposited a whopping seven, uh, 16, 7.62. So, you know, I mean, just... I know you guys' cup runneth over now with that amount of rifle ammo. So, you're welcome. You know what? I'm going to do you a favor, Viva. Here. Wait. Are you running... Wait, what, what type of weapon are you running? Did you pick a gun? Yeah. So, do you go, sh do you go shotgun or machine gun? Shotgun. Uh, check the ammo box. Help yourself. Oh, nice. Um, oh, that'll be nice. All right, so that. So it's okay when if I take half of it, right? Uh, you can take all of it. That's yours. That was that was mine. I don't. I'm, I'm not using the shotgun anymore. Okay. Each successive hit lowers enemy armor rating twenty percent. Ooh, nice. All right, so that'll work well on those. James's? Yeah, the, the soldier ones. Um, oh, yeah. Um, parts. Drop that. Cool. Oh, yeah, uh, and if you check your inventory cat after killing the bear, you might have some testosterone extract. I didn't check. Um, that's how you make the cigar and the steroids. Do we have, like, a... Uh, 
ginger. Uh, let's see. All right. Fifty-three of those. Those in stuff, right? Yeah, I put that in stuff. I'm keeping the farming stuff in stuff too. Um, so, like, put the rotting flesh in there. Or if you've put it somewhere else, tell me. Um, yeah, let me let me get that out of my inventory. Put it in stuff too. Yep. All right. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ, look at this shit show. Ooh, look at my bat. It's got spikes on it now. That looks nice. That does look that does that that that's very zomboid right there. Yeah. Oh, it's got blue on it now too. Yeah, it looks so much better. Oh yeah. It's a much prettier bat. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. You guys done managing inventory or whatever you need to do? Yeah, I'm good. New journal entry, chemistry station. Done. All right. We uh, logging off? Yes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. All right, so final tally. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, so it was the anar an anarchista Kista Goldman, and then Hakim Bay did nothing wrong. Kai the ego fash. Ego calm is crypto hoppianism. More like blessed is the lame. Catasilo uh, x John Gazebo. Um, NCC for Life Social Anarchy Gang. Um, let me move it down here. <clears throat> John Gazebo Catasilo Hot 53X. That's K sex and lead speak. Um, fucking Chaos Star Fash Symbol. And then they gave up. Damn, bro. So. Yeah, that was that was your your little fan, cat. I don't. Um, Twitter's a weird space. Um. All right. And with if you're still here, no, I can't do that. I just looked at the D the whisper you sent me, and holy shit, with no, I can't do that. Um. Let's see. All right. Let's cue that off. Move you people back where you need moving. And we're going to raid out to fucking Squiddy, and then we're just going to move over to VC. Who eats sweet? Um, everybody else, another week down. If you're here, fucking good job surviving uh, uh, just seven days to die grind fest there for a little bit. Oh, it is what it is, man. You just got to put in the fucking work like that sometimes. Uh, it is amazing though how uh, how well trained we are just from Zomboid. Dude, yeah. it, I def once you said that it was basically Zomboid and Seven Days to Die, I was just like, yeah, I just need to play it the same way. Yeah, I, I do the same leading patterns. I do the same energy conservation methods. I do the same swing uh, swing patterns. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just from a different perspective. Uh, let's see. Fucking, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, all right, well, fucking, we're just waiting for the countdown for Squiddy at this point. There it is, 10 seconds. Fucking, though it cuts out weirdly before sometimes. Either way, catch y'all later. Have a good weekend. <laughs>